Hello! Uh, welcome back everybody. This is Tipping the Scale session... What is this? Seven. Seven. Uh, last session, our uh, scale breakers um, visited the carnival. The... What's it called? The Sagev Sal Sa Carnival. Sangyup Sal. Uh, carnival. They, no. they had some fun. Did, some, did an archery range. Did the bell... Hammer bell thing, what's it called, Raf? High striker. High striker. The more you know. Uh the more you know. And... Oh, someone asked you what's that. No. What are the chances? Someone asked you that. <laughs> High striker. At least you know, you know, hey, trivia, you, trivia. They have quirky things, you know, they yeah. ask you. Yeah. Like, hey, so what do you call that thing? And then like people just like give you a round of applause. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, in you, Jesus. You know what? Because Okay, so because I'm in like a song song making mood mood, like we can yeah. do like a like a high striker song like the Aglet. Yeah, it's like not, the, the Aglet legit, in dude. in in Phineas and Ferb, just like to uh, yeah. let more people know. Anyway dude, that Aglet thing, <laughs> Jesus. It's stuck in my head. That song like if you sing it, it will be stuck right? in my head. So oh, so we won't sing it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you won't please don't. Uh, so they they had some fun in the carnival, but their fun was cut short when uh, the bandits that were after Melina and Everain showed up uh, in alliance with um, some blue dragonborn and drake riders mm -hmm. from uh, Azrak. That's right. Uh, all right, and shit hit the fan. Um, uh, a fight started. A uh, two fight started. <laughs> And uh, Evrain died. Evrain died. Um, found himself in the realm of uh, 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 Glavius, the god of protection, but was quickly transported to somewhere that looked like the shadow fell. Um, he witnessed in front of him uh, the the twin goddess sisters of uh, light and darkness. Uh, what were their What were their names? I have the names somewhere in the chat. V V V Ronin, Glavius. Yeah. Because Gladius is the sword, right? Yeah, that's a sword. Yeah. It's okay. I I understand Ronin. You have the the name Glavius in your name. It can be you know. Yeah. Because like. People are there are people named after Jesus, so <laughs> right. True. That's a very common thing. <laughs> yeah. The Mala and Kamali. There you go. Uh, wow. Uh, can you type I like the name Kamali. Can you type them out here? Thank you. I'll in, put in the notes. Yes, please. Thank you. I want to stop it. Kamali sounds like tamale. You know, I don't know. Tamale is a food. It's not food. It's food. Yeah. yeah tamale. Tamala is the goddess of darkness. And uh Kamali, the goddess of light. Yeah. Yep, uh, also no chat agree. Yeah, can you chat it here? I actually wanna write that down for my recap as well. Just because Ronin could marry one of them. <laughs> no. I mean, no, Ro no, not Ronin. I mean the the freaking god, your god. Um, no, he's you know, he's a single lady, man. <laughs> single lady. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Kinda can't tell, man. You can't tell. Evrain learned that uh, Melina struck a deal with uh, her mom, but also at the same time, um, Melina realizing that uh, that was all part of um, the path to for Melina to ascend into her um, what is it divine heritage, and is now part of. Zumala shares the same consciousness with them. She's also Melina is also the Shadow Queen, basically. Uh, there you go. Uh, uh, but because Melina does that, strikes a deal with her mom, sacrifices herself. Uh, Evrain is granted a second chance at life. He returns back with uh, immense power <laughs> and defeats um, the bandits that were. Uh, attacking him attacking them um the drake riders run away leaving behind their high priest phoebe i mean their priest phoebe and this is where uh we continue our story um yep. 
so to answer the questions, uh, you guys wanted to interrogate Phoebe. Uh, let me bring up Rafi's chat. Yeah. Ask them if I have more in the chest that we got an Azrak. <clears throat> this is it, right? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, like uh, that, that was a general question, like the journey from Azrak to Sagavsal. And then there's one for the bandit Sad and like to Phoebe. Like that's all in okay. one. All right. Yeah. Um, more information about the chest. Okay, something to know about Phoebe. Uh, I'm wow. I'm sure after some time spending time with him, I think you and or Satan will realize that Phoebe, uh, has. What's this? Uh, he has gone through some several memory altering shit. Ah, that's oh, the spell. Shit. Yeah, that's the spell. So okay, okay. Um. Whatever he answers you, uh, Phoebe believes it to be true, uh, but he does not. Uh, he doesn't know what's inside the chest specifically. If you remember in the other session, he said that it's an artifact, and it will help. Yeah. It will help um, save Exoria, something like that, whatever. So he believes that yeah. to be true, and among uh, other thing like I uh, asked if the priest of the Golden Warlord ever interacted with the Exoria High Priest. No. Priest of the oh, this is for for later. Oh, um, that is for later. There was why I can uh, I can uh, screenshot again of what I posted. Hold on. It's in uh, it's on a regular TS chat, right? But it's kind of like back. Yeah. Like back. We need to back. Yeah, you have to scroll back. Don't worry, I'll just uh, send it real quick. Yes, please. It's right here. Okay, I. Okay. It should be sent now. All right, got it. Uh, to the bandits, I would like the band who sent them and why they're targeting Melina. Okay, the bandits. Wait, they're all dead though. Did they? Every... No, no, no. Three are alive. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, no. The 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 three flying witches are alive, and then the three ones that didn't hit me. There were like nine of them. Okay, okay. Um, the bandits, uh, will say that they, are. Oh, they are. Hmm. Do. Do they want to say? Um. You guys remember me mentioning something about like, uh, uh, Manticore fanatics and. Yes. Yes. So they share that uh, same uh, ideology that Manticore fanatics do. Some of them also uh, consider themselves as like part of like uh. A legitimate organization but there's no legitimate organization this is like uh there's groups of people all over the world that uh, believe in the cause of manticore uh, for those of uh, those people who don't know manticore uh is a, a very old um organization that uh, believed in uh creating a a war uh not not just in like a specific continent but like in in the whole of Tarin uh, to disrupt the years of peace that Tarin has had uh, Manticore believed that because of um, the because because their world has become so peaceful that a lot of the the people of Tarin a lot of Tarinians have become soft and weak and uh, Manticore be uh, believe that if we continue, if they continue on that path, if Tarin continues on that path, when the time comes uh, that uh, something bad happens to Tarin and Tarinians have to fight for the world or uh, try to defend themselves against uh, external forces or whatever, Tarin would surely wipe out because Tarin has grown soft. Is the ideology of Manticore, so that's why they wanted yeah. to start a war, whatever. I don't know. Uh, so these, and then, yeah, and then. Mm -hmm. What would that have to do with them targeting a Milena. little girl, like okay. from Ronan's perspective? Got it. Um, mm -hmm. To uh, 
to some of your party surprise, because uh, I I don't mm-hmm. think all of you are aware that Melina uh, is a demigod or was a demigod. Um, okay. Some of the bandits or the bandits uh, had an idea that she was and wanted to capture her and like uh, do like some sort form of ritual. Uh, you know, sacrificing a demigod or uh, the divine blood, blah, blah blah blah. They wanted to to do something crazy with with Melina uh, to to ensue chaos. That that is the goal of current day Manticore uh, fanaticism and and fa- fanatics is creating chaos uh, so that um. Um, there's no peace, <laughs> right? Okay. Yes. Okay got my answer from the bandits cool. what about the rest of you guys though do you have questions uh, regarding that anyone i think there's nothing left to ask because priest phoebe's mind is not in the right place it's okay, oh, okay. Right. to answer the questions directed to Phoebe. Uh, was this entirely your plan, or was this an order from the high priests? Okay, um, this <coughs> uh, he believes it to be his own plan, and okay. Uh, if you guys remember last time, I mentioned that his plan was to wait for you guys to get to Exoria, and then he'd you know mm-hmm. uh, come see you like later on give you like some more time to find like the red dragonborn experiment with how to open the chest um but because the bandits um um gave them an opportunity to strike earlier that's why he decided um, to 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 do it earlier uh what are you planning to use the artifact for uh uh he he, he does not he is not going to use the artifact he wants to be uh-huh. in the good graces of the high priest of Azrak, which I do not have a name for yet, but the blue dragonborn high priest. Uh, mm. So he wants to be in his good graces. Uh, if he shows up, you know, with the artifact to the high priest, then he'll, you know, maybe get promoted or he gets more vacation days or <laughs> he, right. he, he can get more, you know, uh, manicures and whatever and uh, all, all that stuff yeah. uh, are the high okay. priests the ones behind Exorius attack or are the pharaoh and the montu something you believe to be the truth he believes that the pharaoh and the montu are the are the true the true culprits to to this whole thing uh, oh. okay and at the same the... time his memory has been altered so so me and ronin were able to we're convinced that Phoebe is somehow under a modified memory spell. Like yeah, they're, they're sure. They're sure that that he that they know that. Like yeah. this is something that they already yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you guys can be sure about it. Okay. It's just like like um, because when you cast it on someone, does it leave a trace? I don't know. Just go. No, oh, you can undo okay. it with the remove curse spell actually, but I don't think we have like that. Access. I don't have that either. You can send him with a cleric. Find a cleric to do that. <laughs> <laughs> change your subclass now. <laughs> I mean, I mean change if you know it, just hire a cleric and then take it out. You know what I mean? So we like we could, because I'm visiting the high priest of my church. You know, him. But... Like it's just a cobalt. You can put it in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad, though. Listen, uh, we're we're trying to lay low in Exoria too. So like dragging Phoebe along. Uh... Yeah, also, put him, put him in a bag and then open a bit of air for him. <laughs> Isn't Azrak like leaderless right now with High Priest Phoebe here? Right. And they are, uh, yes. They're leaderless. I mean, we're the High Priest now. Mm. <laughs> um, we're gonna take wait. over. Yeah. Also, to I your... don't know. So, like, personally, I think that we should arrest this person. Okay. They were they're fucking attacking civilians. <laughs> they were? That's true. Not, but we're not deputies. Not, not the blue dragonborns. And yeah, not right, Phoebe. Right. It was only the bandits. Um, so oh, poli- oh, technicalities. <laughs> yeah, the the political scenario right now. Is, God, I just realized I could do the, that. The, the political scenario right now is um, the blue dragonborns were 
were not technically involved <laughs> or like oh, it did not shit. it did not it not it did not seem that they were involved right there's no evidence so much yeah uh, Phoebe, kind of. Phoebe can Phoebe, yeah Phoebe can just say he he wanted to go to the carnival uh so I mean yeah that you put yeah. it that way he could just say that and thinking, they didn't pay they didn't they didn't pay the entrance but there are a lot of witnesses <laughs> saying but then again like he's going through all that process just like oh, they can take the, we yeah. can take this to court I think this, this isn't this isn't an episode of how to get away with murder <laughs> I think when Jack attacks some of them you know? yeah, yeah if if anything <laughs> you know like uh it's like the the problem comes from the bandits and from you guys causing a ruckus in the carnival. So oh, Phoebe, okay, so Phoebe is a uh, priest. Phoebe, I think it would make sense in his character to to beg for his life and his like freedom, and he will tell you that okay, uh, you let me go back to Azrak, <laughs> and and um, that's not a very smart decision knowing what he can do. You you let me go back to Azrak. Um, uh, we technically did not do anything wrong here, and uh, I'm 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 not going to. Uh, what's he? He you he's know. Not gonna I mean, yeah, yeah yeah he's he. I don't trust him okay. literally. <laughs> like he's not gonna sue us. Okay sure buddy. <laughs> Plus, Everett literally just tried to kill him, so he's like, okay, sure, yeah. Everett's gonna fucking kill this guy. <laughs> can we, um, uh, can, hard enough can we intimidate him to give us money? Whoa. Now make it worse, and then we're just gonna bring him money. back after. Uh... I have a feeling Wait, no, he doesn't know, carry around what? money. If they give us money, and then what? I mean, Nick, he's begging for his life. Sounds like he's willing to do anything to go I'm back. I'm just saying, what, what's the repercussion? I mean, we're still bringing him back, so he could just, like, sue us anyway. Bring in another army to kill us. Or probably a friend, because he's going to retire. I mean, after, 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 what he, after what he witnessed Evren do... Yeah. Yeah. Is he still going to sue us? So, yeah, he will start <laughs> okay, to okay. fuck with us? Uh, above game, above game. Do we... Oh. Yeah. Uh, above game, uh, since Ken is, is switching characters, it, it could make sense for Evrain to, like, leave with, uh, Priest Phoebe, uh, and then Evrain, mm -hmm. you know, will deal with, with Phoebe and whatever. Uh, okay. so we can do that so that, uh, the rest of the party can move on with going to Exoria and, like, doing the golden... Uh, and then you guys that actually makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and then you that guys don't sense. have to worry about you know, Phoebe. Phoebe. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, can take care of him. You know, you know how whatever would do when you would take care of him. <laughs> I mean, we don't Sadly. mind, man. <laughs> we don't Sadly, mind. it is that he's trying to just kill the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Does 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 Phoebe have anything shiny we'll, we'll, on we'll, him? We'll, we'll let him deal with him. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, like sure. Off, Phoebe, yeah. Phoebe can give you some of the, like his like jewelry and shit. He he does not have like money on him because he's you know spoiled. Okay. He just, yes. He, he had like. He uses a credit card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can have like some of his jewelry uh, that you can try to sell later. I'll, Yay. I'll, I'll, Okay. Nice, but we can't buy magic items. It's fine. It's okay, man. Mm -hmm. Jesus, man. There's some really fun mundane items as well. If you look at the things. Yeah, I was like looking up like the moonlight scimitar. It's like, ooh, it's a flashlight on it. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. Okay, it jumps from. Ooh, I didn't use that. I just that's realized. Like, that's all I. That's so, all like, are we gonna? Yeah. Is any of us gonna like talk to Evrain like what happened? Where's Melina? Surely we're not now. Are we doing that right now? Or are we still yeah. So about the if we team? guys are set on the Phoebe plan with Evrain, you know, bringing Phoebe, we can proceed to the taking care uh, of him. mark. Yeah, we can proceed to this RP uh, segment of yeah. Evrain um, uh, and his plans and shit mm -hmm. and the deal with Melina. Yeah. Take it away. Okay. I was a uh, scene here. Wait, I gotta have the scene here. 
Uh, Where are we? Okay, set the, the scene. Train? Go ahead. So, <clears throat> you guys are on the train, like in one of the cabins, uh, carriages of the train. I want to have to the Lord of Centipede, by the way. Did you just turn him back? The what centipede? I mean, the pod, the centipede, fuck. The pod that Jack stole. <laughs> oh, n no. Like, the, the handler would have, like, got got uh, it again. That's true. Wait, we're in the train going back to Exoria? Going to Exoria, correct. Um, and Evrain's with us there. Evrain's with you there. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Or maybe it's the train. Was, well, would or that, maybe, would that mean, make me double back? Maybe, just, maybe. Like, okay, so <laughs> let's do you guys are waiting for the train. There you go. There's like a train, uh, like a, a, a train stopped in the middle and then. Waiting for the train. Oh my god, the sea. Oh my god. We're in a private area as well, like far like away from every, yeah. every drama ever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. every drama. Train, ever. right? Every anime drama ever. Oh no, the train scene. Uh, where's Melina? Yeah, what what happened? She, we all saw that, right? She became a shadow creature and disappeared. So uh, far. I do not know. But I did see her mother. Her mother. Oh. You mean, mean, infinity. Uh, well, the bandits did say that as well. I was just too shocked from everything to properly register that. I'm like uh, you guys. I have more questions than answers, and that's why I'm going out there finding them. But what about, what about Melina though? Is she dead or? I do not know either. All oh. I know is that she saved me. And I owe her for that. Okay. See. Right. And, uh, Where will you be heading? Yeah. Well, I'm taking care of this thing and then give the freaking priest a nudge. He's like still bleeding, by the way. But I have to lay on hands him. Got a, got a gag in his mouth. He got a gag in his mouth. Like, and after that, I don't know, I'll find my way. If that's the case, then... Okay, we will... Uh... We will try to keep in touch as well when we find means and uh, check on you from time to time. And Evren kind of scratches his head and just like gives out a meek smile and he says, Look, you know, I'm sorry for leaving a job and, you know, half done, but you usually don't do this. But as I said, Molino was the job and now that she's not here, it changes things. It's that's understandable. Also, she hasn't paid me yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I will not need most of these things, and then, um, because like he's gonna go with my friends, and technically Casper's fucking homeless. He's gonna need the gold, so like they just say Evan gives him the gold that he has. Uh, and so well, you're gonna meet. Yeah. Let's like, just say they're gonna hire him. Not not hire him, but like you know. Like his friend is there, Michael. Oh, Everett told you to give you this, and they give him the gold, sure. pass it over, and that. Uh, or they could choose Lappy, you such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, George, I think the uh, character yeah. to have wouldn't he have his own money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yes, yes, spend gold, man. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, uh, that character will have... receive how much? Yeah, do you guys earn? You, you told me. Because I add the thingy, and then the remaining gold I have, and then the gold they have, and their no, no, no. so I have no, 500. No, Evrin can keep his gold, uh, and Casimir can start with 320 plus 250 is 570. Yeah, 500, yeah, 570, yeah. That's what you told me. Yeah, Evrin, <laughs> Evrin can keep his stuff. I'll just keep the stuff. It's the only great sword I'm giving, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I look at the leader, my boy Satan. And sign him over with a great sword, and I'll say, You'll need this someday. Maybe. I don't think that you can carry it right now with that scrawny little body of yours. But it's a good reminder that I'll always be there for you, buddy. I take his great sword 
and it really is heavy as fuck, so I have to use it with two hands. Just to hey, do you remember like Zach giving it to like freaking Cloud? Oh, that's what it feels like. Cloud that's how seven it feels all over like, again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Doesn't I'm carrying the Buster Sword for the first time. <laughs> right? It's like way. And then Cloud is so scrawny too, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I tell, I tell him, you know, he could carry it if you gave him the gauntlets too. It's just <laughs> just him, but you know. No, I can't do that. The DM doesn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, the, the, dark, the dark mistress, I mean. <laughs> she, 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 she has embedded it within my body. <laughs> the, the dark mistress of the DM doesn't let me take it out. So you could give it a shot if you want. I tell, DM won't let you <laughs> I tell Everin that uh, I'll, I'll hold on to this until I see you again. Thank and you. Then thanks. I, in return, uh, Satan will take a dagger from his bandolier, or his backpack rather. Yeah. And he tells uh, Everin, you should take this so that if we're ever nearby, happen to be in the same city it'll be easier for us to find you uh take it thank you i've always wanted another dagger <laughs> uh, well to take care of that it's sentimental all right and well I... it looks like since we're giving stuff away, you're a member of the scale breaker, so maybe it's tradition we should give stuff. I don't know. Here's a dart. <laughs> okay. So are, are, are we giving stuff? Okay. Are, uh, aren't you an app or something? Can you do a bit more? Like, I don't know, like 10,000 or something. Wow. <laughs> My friend, okay. I am not a poor anymore, and I don't have a billion gold pieces. Okay. It's... Well, maybe you can, like, Look, give me a loan or something. <laughs> you can like ask him, you know, give me a loan. I might go there. You no, never know. Like you can throw it at someone, you know. Mm, that helps. Thank you. Mm. We're gonna give okay, stuff away. Satori fishes some uh the nuts and bolts that she got from the barrel bots. Oh, yeah. yeah. From way back. Oh. She gives it. Uh, here, here's my gift to you. Uh, you could hold on to that, but can no, you no, just no, give no. Me... no, 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 It's I one want... of my prized possessions. I want a feather. It... What? Oh. A feather. Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's weird. All right, sure. You know what? Uh, it plucks a feather from... Where are you? From her wing, from, yeah, the, yeah. from the wing, from the wing, and then okay. gives it. I will give it to Evren, but she can also keep the nuts and bolts. All right, well, I'll be keeping all of it. Yes. And then he, he just like thank you, Satori. You'll be a. I will feel you'll be a good warrior soon. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to cry, guys. And my train is here. I'll take care of the kobold. I have a feeling you're going to be meeting my friends soon, too, so take care, okay? Wait, you have friends besides us? Oh, God, this feels like I have, I have one more friend, <laughs> and I have a feeling you'll like him because he's the complete opposite of me. Well, where is he? How do you know we're meeting him? He'll find you. Don't worry. That's he's... creepy. But okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> but he has a talent for those things. I see. Okay. Is there like a secret password you could tell us just so we know we can trust him? Just say fuck you. <laughs> and then I ride the train. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's a very odd code word. Anyways, take care, friend. I'll see you again someday, I hope. Take care, all of you, and break some skills, would you? Me too. Sure. You too. Yeah. Yeah. The sand pod, uh, every sand pod, uh, starts. Thing. 
and get mm-hmm. smaller and smaller into the distance as we uh, say goodbye to Evrin. Bye, Evrin. Bye, Jesus Christ. Well, bless you, buddy. <laughs> See you in season two. Season two. Don't buy that. Okay, I need to change the art a bit. Wait, hang on. Yeah. Oh, I gotta change it. Now they haven't seen him yet. No, it's not gonna show up yet. <laughs> ah, okay. I just need oh, okay. It. It's just for OBS, yeah. Alright. Copy. We should also, like, have a team huddle, like, Satan, Satori, and off screen Jack, you know. You guys can do that now <laughs> while I'm doing this. Sure. Uh, you, get on, uh, you get on your own train to Exoria. Yeah, so yeah. We can talk about what just transpired. We need to discuss actually what happened because that was a lot to unpack, you guys. It was indeed a lot to unpack. Satori, I still don't know the full implications of that deal you made. Yes, we are very much troubled that you made a deal with a fake creature. That historically is not always a good thing to do. Did you at least get their name? Yeah. Did you uh, not believe? Yes. Yes. I got their name. <laughs> their their name was... Firefuck. What? I don't believe you. Fire the name was what? Firefox. Firefox. Yeah. Firefox. Do a bad rule! Star Fox. Oh, the Star Fox. That's Firefox. Jesus. <laughs> I don't believe you for one second. You didn't get their name, did you? What? I did. It's, I um, just told you, it's Firefox. No. <laughs> We don't even need the roll for an inside check for that, my dude. Okay. Why? Even if you're not, even if you're not lying, they still don't believe you. That's what the thing. Yeah. <laughs> even if the truth, they don't believe you. Yeah, so you now... can choose what you want to believe, but I know what I heard and I know what I asked. And so their name was Firefox. Okay. You know, we're gonna gloss over the the fact that yeah, that their name is Firefox. I guess. What first? Like, like, could you tell us the exact? deal that you made that you agreed to could you do that please yes so the deal was we were in the they, they told me about the the nature of the carnival and they told me that they could make an exception for us if i helped them if i uh make them a favor one day and you know thinking that well i think it's a good idea not to be trapped in the carnival i said yes okay to be fair we literally don't know what our other options can be great to that to escape the carnival is well i mean what else can we do we're gonna have to settle this then the fake comes first uh, don't worry about it. The the fake the fake people are nice. Right. Yeah. Um, it's just you know we're, we're, we can be misunderstood. You know the the victors right history and stuff like that. Uh, the victors are mostly victims. Just so you know. So yeah. But okay. Also, uh, Satanael, you and me both, we have clearly, it's clearly proven that both of us don't do very well in high pressure situations. We also made poor decisions that partly contributed to a brain's death thing. And we should do better. Which actions are you referring to, referring to specifically, Emperor? Well, under high pressure, we didn't exactly come up with a concrete plan, you know? Like, we decided to run across several directions, which in the end was a very poorly sound plan. So, 
We are gonna have to get used to making plans during hypothetical situations. That should be, you know, if we are to avoid that tragedy once again. I think that plans like that aren't going to happen very effectively, considering how our party has behaved, Ronan. I think that we are going to have to get used to making decisions as the as things happen because as we saw with Jack and with Satori the other day they are unpredictable okay yes but uh, we have to try and not make a repeat of those mistakes if we're to survive this thing indeed Satori as much as possible, try not to make deals with people without anyone else being present. Uh, no, the point, the point is, Satori, it'd be important next time if you run through things with us, if you're going to make decisions that affect the entire group. Is, is that a deal? Sure. I promise not to make that mistake again. But okay. I'm saying that they, they, they can be nice. Let's not... Okay. All right, we will. I mean, Saturday's from the Feywild, and she hasn't really mistreated us a lot so far. So you know, it's not. Yeah, and uh, hmm. Sorry, the point is not that we don't trust the Fey. It's more that we need to know things that affect. The, everyone in the party otherwise you're only acting on your own cord and not really thinking about how it affects other people I hope that this makes sense surely like it's the same way how uh, I'm sure your pixie family look out for each other you know like Try to try to consider the group safety as well. Hmm. Yes, that's true. I didn't really consider that. Okay. It's all. There'll be an opportunity for you to do something about that next time you have a situation like this. Yes. Hmm. In either case, I'm going to be learning more spells that can help us with any situation we might find ourselves in. And then Satan proceeds to like study at that point. We also need to bring up the fact that yes, we need to lay low in Exorium, but I also have intention to Heading to the temple of the war Golden Warlord. This chest contains something, and I believe that my church is able to have information on it because our whole purpose is to catalog weapons that are dangerous to Taren. So we might get some answers there. All right, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. And, uh,. I'm sure we have the conversation with Jack as well, but that happens off screen. Yeah, that happens off screen. <laughs> I mean, Satan's basic, like, uh, train of thought in terms of Jack is just don't let the guy talk to people who are not or less than pleasing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if they get, if they butt heads, then shit's gonna go down. Yeah, my train of thought would be, please, please do not provoke more people when we're, like, under attack. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I think Jack didn't... At that moment, I think Satan realized that Jack doesn't care, my dude. If he's angry, he's angry. That's true. I guess then, like, you, like Ronan would just, like, I guess we'll have to control that. We have to direct that anger into, like, you know, the the enemy to our advantage somehow. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe we so... can maybe we can cast illusions of the people he's angry at on the enemies. You know. <laughs> I don't know. 
I thought we were trying to prevent him from raging at people, not encourage him to rage at other things. No, I meant like if a uh, if a situation like that happens again, where he's fighting other, like the old like example, he's fighting the ogres and the bandits are killing us. I don't know. When he doesn't see the ogres, we just project an illusion of the ogres and the bandits. You know what I'm saying? And then we trick him into fighting people we should actually be fighting. I'm not sure that's the right path. I am not. Or we don't want. <laughs> we don't. We don't want our allies to distrust us. I do not think that this is a smart contingency. <laughs> you have a point there. I am. There's a lot happening right now, so I'm not also thinking clearly. Like you know, a few hours ago, we almost one of us died. So I'm like in the stress. Actually, I'm not showing it, but I'm actually you know like having a crisis in in the in my mind's eye. So you know, <laughs> the mind's eye again. <laughs> so um, uh, okay, Emperor. Let's just focus on the task at hand. We'll be going yes, yes. to your church, and we'll figure things out from there. Yes. On to the church we go. Alrighty. <clears throat> um, so you guys uh, spend the next few uh, days on the sand pod. You arrive in Exoria, uh, probably like discreetly. You got, you know, the the kind. The kind of scenes where you leave the train, but then you have like your hood up and sunglasses. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. You have like sunglasses and baseball caps on, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and make your way to Granny Phyllis's house. You spend uh, some days there in Granny Phyllis's house, uh, laying low, making sure that uh, you guys are in the clear. And when you are, you finally visit the golden temple uh, on the day that you uh ronin uh expect to see your ex-wife there as well as she as, as she has left you a uh, uh, a message uh, maybe when, when you arrived in granny phyllis's house granny phyllis was like oh we received a letter for a robin <laughs> <laughs> like that would be me, Granny, but I'm Ronin. And ah, uh, yes. yeah, yes, this, I was this for you, and then gives you a an envelope for like uh, a payment for your subscription to uh, 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 Magazine. Dragon, yeah, Dragonborn, <laughs> <or> Dragon <laughs> Magazine. <laughs> so, and then Anton is like, oh, no, no, this is a mistake. This is mine. Ah, this is yours. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Sweet. Thank, you for, uh, thank you for that horrifying information. But yes, I was looking for the letter and not the... <laughs> not the portal mag. Are you sure? No, this is portal mag. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ronin, you learned that uh, your ex-wife will be visiting. So, it's... It's kind of timely that you will be seeing each other in the Golden Temple. We change maps. In the Golden Touch Temple. Map. Uh, map, map, map. I did not. I'm the map. I'm the map. Dudes, I did not have time to. Yeah, I had to send him the photos of like the temple, what I think it looks like. All right. Yeah. So yeah. the Golden Temple the is called as such uh, for its. Um, uh, the temple of the golden warlord, but it's not golden in itself uh, It is mostly clad in a white marble and In certain times of day, especially during dawn and dusk when the sun is at its um, The sun is at its dimmest um, the sky turns orange and the uh, colors cast onto the white marble and it is beautiful this is what it looks like um, from the front and the picture in the bottom is what it looks like from the top although it wouldn't have these like maroon the uh, on the map Albert. Albert, Albert. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll bury my dead. Yeah. Oh, right. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, haven't gotten there yet. I, I did saw the link. That's Not all right. Bad. That's all right. And you guys are j right outside. Um, the your tokens are not to scale with the uh, with yeah. all the pictures. But yeah, uh -huh. you guys arrive there. Soon as you enter, the the floors are polished so cleanly, especially in the in the parts of the 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 temple that are not not the forge, because there are forges in this temple. Correct, right, Ronin? That's true. There are blacksmiths there who create weapons. Set. Yeah. Uh, but in the parts where uh, there are no forges, uh, there's this huge hallway uh, with very polished marble floor that it reflects um, uh, everything on the floor and above it. So you guys walk. It's like it's almost like walking on mirrors, right? Uh, yeah. And yeah, uh, at the... You turn one corner of the hallway, and um, there is uh, you enter a library. It's over. It's over here, uh, to the lower right picture, uh, dimly nice. lit with. Um, they're not. They're not candles, but they're like uh, tra translucent stone uh, that have been enchanted to glow a uh, an orange color, and. Uh, uh, there are these bookshelves that are um, neatly lined up like that, and the orange, orange lights reflect uh, down onto the floor as well. And on the far end of the library, where there is a table, uh, Ronin, you spot your ex-wife and a hooded figure uh, with your ex-wife. They seem to be in conversation. I approach them and you know like seeing them I actually am like smiling and I'm really happy to see both of them and I go ahead to them and I tell them oh Olympia Riker it's so good to see both of you here I miss you both <laughs> and I look at I look at Olivia and it's like Riker who the bloody hell's Riker what the? I thought you were Riker. Olympia, who is this? Okay, I need to figure out this accent. Uh, what? The Olympias? Uh, what do you want her to sound like? Fuck. I remember when we when I played her during the one shot, she just had like my normal speaking voice. Uh, <laughs> give not sound like know, Ravi. Um... Wait, does that sound like Ravi? <laughs> just not like Whoa! That. <laughs> so creepy. Uh... Give you... her like a, give her like a posh but friendly tone, you know, posh. like a very posh voice, but there's a friendly tone. Yeah, Fuck. like she's quite friendly, you know, like All even right. though she dresses in her goth. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, sees you and says, "Fucking eh? Uh, oh, darling, I can't believe you would mistake someone for Riker like that. Do you not know your own? See your cousin? Is who's Riker again?" Uh, Riker is uh, one of my closest bodyguards. Closest so... bodyguards. Yeah. You'd mistake someone well, for Riker. Uh, this over here is uh, someone I just met. Oh, what, what was your name again? And Ken, you may describe your new character. Oh, okay. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Wait, my new character? Sure. <laughs> sure, give me the right guy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, uh, wooden figure. He is wearing, well, this is his endgame kind of look, but, you know, he is cloaked, um, wearing leather armor. Kind of fast as Creed like with a cloak right there. But, uh, in, indoors, of course, he will show his face. Um, he has curly hair. Kind of like Oscar Isaac, that's how he looks like. So curly hair, a bit of a uh, rough beard going on the side. And he has a silvery moon eyes. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Of course, kind of tan skin because it's spending most of his time in the desert. That's it. Yes, darling. This is Whoa. uh, this is uh, Cas Casper, uh, Ca Ca Cassie, Ca Cassie, Cassie, mm. Cassie, Madame. Ah, yes, Cassie. My, my apologies. Uh, forgive me. Uh, 
And what is the, the gentleman's name exactly? Oh, this is this is Ronin. He is my um, uh, old flare, old flame, and uh, uh, well, <laughs> so yeah. <you're> old. <laughs> what? Wait, well, you dated before? Oh, oh I, we I was married. married. Yeah, we were we were married. Oh, yeah. married. Oh, well, of course. You didn't seem to look like the kind of girl to, you know, get married, put a ring on. Yes. Anyway, uh, we have business to discuss. Um, Wait, did you just mention Ronan. That's your name, Mike. Y yes, that's that's my name. That's me. Well, oh, why? bloody hell! You're one of Everett's friends, aren't you? Oh. Well, it's a friend you met. Oh, okay. What a lovely. I, I emotionally introduced, by the way, to come over. Like, so we should introduce each other first you know like uh sweetheart i have to introduce you to the people i've been working with this is satanel over there and that is satori and that's jack and this is this robe this one over here is roy one of my creations ah, yes. we work together you and your, on the, you yeah. and your hobbies at first it was little cogs and watches but now you're you're up to this level. That's very good good for you, uh, darling. Uh, Thank you, sweet. Hello, uh, Satanayal. Hello, Satori. Very nice to meet you. Hello, Jack. Uh, oh, and everyone, that's Kashmir over there. That is Avrain's companion, apparently, that he mentioned. Thank you all. Uh, Satan's not focused on that right now. He's just picking in the books and just reading through everything and he's just kind of absent-mindedly says ah yes 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 <laughs> I shouldn't be love to excuse my friend over there he is a bookish type so it's what happens when you bring him to a library uh, Satori waves to Olympia right? yeah yep. Olympia Archer yes. uh, Satori waves to Olympia and then uh, says the words that Everett told the group to say to Casimir, was that fuck you, right? Everyone said fuck you, right? Yeah. The pet talk. Thought he was a mere pet. Well, hello there, little one. That is not a pet. She is. Excuse me. Lara Kokra, <laughs> and she is a very valuable member of this team. Did you just say it's an Ara Kokra? Yes. Never seen them little like this and not flying. Well, Rakokras come in different bird shapes and sizes, so, you know, this is the shape she was born with, and we have to accept that. Can I roll for my nature and then see if there is a breed like him? <laughs> Me a ranger, you know? Like, can I roll for that DM, if there is a breed like Satori? Sure, you can make a, my you can make a nature check. Alright, nice job. Oh. <laughs> How do I do that again? C space space, space, space nature. Seventeen. 17. Oh. Uh, yeah, there are small aracocra, but or or rather small, the small or, aracocra. No, not like this. There are the smallest oh, okay. aracocra you've seen are like five foot, uh, but yeah, they still can't big. fly. And it's the like closest miniature. thing, the closest thing you can compare Satori to in your head. It's probably like a Kenku. Yeah. Uh, but she's she's too but Satori is too like um uh not colorful but like uh she has patterns and like she's she's not like a Kenku which is typically like all black. Yeah. And her so her beak her say, beak doesn't uh, look like a like a Kenku's beak as as well. Yeah. So Kasper would say, You sure it's not Kenku? It is absolutely not a Kenku. Yeah, I'm a pixie. <laughs> now she is... You're most definitely not a pixie. She's an Arakokra raised by pixies, so she identifies as such. And then I give a shrug now. All right, well, I'm not trying to be a racist in my first impression. <laughs> I think that's too late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're one of a kind. <laughs> you are literally one of a kind. <laughs> You know what? Uh, 
I, I slink back to Jack, the nerve of this guy. <laughs> well, I can see you're making a very good impression in one of our uh, party mates over here. But uh, how exactly did you meet Olympia over here? And what? How? why are you here in this church? I was, you know, just a little bit of a chat. And, well, waiting for you guys that's to answer your second question. So, so you just knew to wait for... So Evrain gave you instructions to come meet us here? Yeah. We're both mercenaries. We got connections. Not the first time we did that. Huh. Didn't think I was going to meet an emperor, though, of sorts, and the ex-husband of this lovely lady here. Well, I never thought Evrain can communicate mostly so this is also a shock yeah i didn't know either until it was the fifth year when we were out there mm. you know he could talk thought it was me the first time my god uh i mean he'd spoken to us a few took a few weeks but uh yeah he's he he went off to do uh, some very personal things that even we couldn't understand he had a hard time explaining it to us but we we're like looks important but sure you can go but yeah. And oh, yeah. uh anyway, um I I moved back to Olympia and I asked her, so uh sweetheart please, uh what uh, what brought you here that you had to come all the way from the Republic? Oh darling, I have uh, business with uh, the local politicians here. But uh, uh -huh. since I knew that you were you and your um friends are are located here i i thought to come by and and give you some gifts so i commissioned uh the forge masters here and to make you some um new equipment i guess oh wow oh, could i see the items please of course uh we'll have to move to the where did he say the the high priest told the the head priest here told me to meet him in um the 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 chapel so let's go over there the chapel's over the upper left oh yeah i've spoken with them before i hadn't forged the weapons in my back right now we should i should stop by and thank him oh and he yes, also yes. helped me forge the boy right here so yeah yes. let's go Ronin, you go over there. That is not the head priest. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, it's okay. Wrong place. Yeah. No, 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 correct. That's a correct place, but that is not the head priest. Oh, oh okay. Uh, let's move you guys. But uh, Satan will just be in the library still. Okay, Satan will still be in the library. All right. Olympia <laughs> will hail this priest. And, uh... Hello there. Um, are you the head priest? Um... That, that I was supposed to to meet. Uh, I would like to those commission the commission items I uh, booked those a uh, few weeks ago bef when I was still in the Repub. Uh, I I apologize. My name is Olympia Archer. Uh, this over here is my uh, uh, ex husband and uh, previously emperor uh, Ronin. And and then the the priest just you know like slowly stands up from. Uh, the pew, uh, like bows at Olympia and walks away the other way. Well, okay. And he just laughed. Olympia is like, oh, how how rude. Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong, That's darling? Did, do I do I have do I have bad breath? And then he, she goes like, <laughs> you know, I give a sniff and I'm like, I don't think so. Maybe he was dumb. <laughs> uh, but the. Shortly after the, the the one of the doors of this chapel open, and coming in is like this, uh, gruff looking, sweaty, uh, dragonborn, and you hear Ooh. a limp in his step and a cling, every uh every other step, and you see, this gent. Uh, on the other side. Whoa. So, he comes in, golden dragonborn, he, his draw 
uh, is it looks artificially replaced with a metal one. Uh, he Ooh. he wears um like uh in the picture it looks like metal, but it's more like a it's more like a like a leather to protect himself from like um um like sparks from when he's forging and like burning and whatnot. And yeah. comes in with a limp and a clang. This is the the head priest you worked with before, Ronin. Mm, I give him a small bow and I tell him it's, it is very nice to see you again, high priest. Head priest. Head priest. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Uh, Ronin, very good. Uh, and uh, I was thrilled to learn that your uh, ex-wife Olympia commissioned me to uh, craft you some uh, magical items. I was deeply honored. Uh, but he- here they are now. Uh, well, not here, but like, please follow me into the forge. And uh, normally I am dressed in in priestly garb, but when you work in the forge, you you can't do that. You 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 you'll burn. Uh, so uh, but- of course. But yes, follow me. And you, you move to the forge, but let's not move not tokens anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he gives you the the items. Um, so let me take my notes again. My notes. This, this, uh, let's start with the smaller things. Uh, a... A, an ever smoking bottle so it is a bottle and there is smoke inside you open the bottle and smoke comes out of it uh, uh, this uh, I believe is who, who and then like kind of like tilts tilts his head at Olympia and Olympia was like oh darling that's for um, Satori over there Ah, all right. Saturday, that's one. That one's for you. Saturday, please add into your inventory an ever smoking bottle. Uh, and this over here uh, is a <coughs> is is a cloak. Um, that you wear it. It 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 helps you. Um. It, it it guards you it's a it's a cloak of cloak of guarding it's a uh, who's this for Olymp- Olympia is oh. like oh that would be for the for the elf the bookish elf ah uh, yes he's in the library right now but I will hold on to that ah yes 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 here you go yeah and and this is uh this is for the this looks like it could only be for the the big guy over there looking at Jack. And Ooh. um it is a specific uh, um gear. It it's literally like um it looks like a a part of a separate machine. And Ooh. he says that it 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 will work once I install it in in his in his arms. I understand he is a uh, part warforged. Uh, so quite. That's that's true. Dwarven kind uh, created that armor of his. Ooh. It's like a life support. Yeah, excellent. It's very excellent. Very very interesting. Uh, so I will be working on 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 this uh, on on you later, sir. Uh, looking at Jack. Uh, so uh, on paper, it is going to be uh, another gauntlet of ogre power on paper. Ooh, okay. Uh, and for you, uh, 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 Ronin, um, uh, Olympia, she mentioned that you wanted something that helps you move around a lot more. Um, a fly even, that step, is- step, step above, uh, into the sky and whatnot. Uh, so I fashioned for you. And he takes out like from a, uh, he takes out delicate, delicately from a, from like a silk bag. Uh, they are boots. And he looks at you and says, "I think you know what these are." 
I I sure do. And uh, Olympia, head priest, thank you so much for this gift. Yes, yes. And then Olympia is like, wait, now, hold on. I did not know that um, your friend, uh, your other friend, Evrain, was not going to be here today. Um, uh -huh. So is it okay, head priest, if I would trouble you in swapping out what was intended for another party with with something else uh, for for um, Sir Casimir over there? Oh, why, well, yes, uh it's it's completely fine. Uh, uh, I can, we can swap this out for something. Uh, are you there, sir? Um, what what t is? Where's Casimir? Is Casimir in the? Oh, Casimir's in the library. Oh no, I'm there. Oh, okay, okay. What is the other gift? Okay. Uh, is that a second boots of wings? I see. Uh, for Evrain? Yeah. For Evrain, if it were... It would have been the boots. Yeah, it would have been the boots of flying. Ah, yes, that is correct. It, it would have been, been... It'd be cool if, like, Olympia would get that boots because they buy in the one shot she had winged boots, actually. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, maybe Olympia will say, On second thought, uh, darling head, head priest, um, I'll still buy the head... The... The second pair of wing boots, uh, so Ronan and I can have a matching pair, and uh, I'll pay you extra for something that would fit our new friend over here. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, so the head priest is like, "Are you, sir, um, uh, in in the in the robe? What sort of um, work or do you do?" Give me a second. <laughs> Milady, you sure? I still haven't even taken you for a date yet. <laughs> and you're already paying for it. Uh, Olymp <laughs> Olympia will, will say, Oh, no, no, don't, don't think that I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for him. Uh, for pointing at Ronin. Since you're, going to, since you're going to be hanging around uh, my ex-husband from now on, I want to make sure you're fully equipped to protect him. All right? All right. Well, of course, the daring ex-husband. I get it. <laughs> well, it's I think that would suffice. Well, I was not around Olympia. What? Did something going on with you two? Why is he acting strange towards you? Oh, oh darling, you know, no, no, many, no. many men act strange towards me. You know this. I mean, yes. <laughs> Ex-wives, ex emperor things, you know what I mean. It's all weird when it comes to royalty. Anyways, I think I'll choose that one over there, kind sir. The braces. Ah, uh, yes, you are. You are and a you marksman. And braces, you know, like little <laughs> braces <laughs> for the <laughs> No, he heard you. He's, uh, so he, he says that, oh, you are a marksman. Yes, very, very good. Uh, well, well chosen. And then he takes like the bracers. There's already a tag on it, like reserved for someone else. But then he quickly like remo rips out the tag. <laughs> yeah. And just hands it to you. Here you go, sir. Uh, very good. Uh, brand new. Um, um, matches your outfit quite nicely, if I do say so myself. And I fine sure... trustments if you have here, sir. Very fine indeed. Of course, you are in the temple of the Golden Warlord, god of weapons. It it would only make sense that we make our um, equipment and gear and uh, crafts with the highest of standards. Well, I know where to get my next magic items then. Thank you very much, my lady, Emperor, and I wear the the the, the, the bracers. Right. Battery. There you go. Nice. And a raid pops out. No I'm kidding. Like a raid in my vision pops out, and you know, of course, the dead pharaoh compliments, saying, "Ah, new toys, Casimir. Not as good as mine, but that will suffice." And I'm seeing you have new pawns too, as well. I just ignore him, but that's what he says. Oh, well, all right. Uh, uh, moving I... moving forward, uh, Ken, above mm. game, do you want uh, to continue voicing the dead pharaoh or... 
Yeah, I can. Okay. You just stop it from time to time, and then I might argue with him from time to time. Well, not now, obviously. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was just worried if you'd feel weird, like you're talking to yourself. No, dude, I, I want the DM, man. <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I had, I had, I did some pretty weird shit. <laughs> I was right there. Okay, okay. You might, I would have, you might I also, do live. <laughs> if, if Kashmir wants to understand that exploit, he might bring it up with the priests over here, because, you know, they, yeah, they are not. No intentions, no one was at it. No intentions. I see. You will hide um, that. I'll speak with Olympia as well and tell her, by the way, speaking of protection, I was thinking, where is Riker? Last time I left, he was your bodyguard, and he was supposed to guard you, like, wherever you were. Um... <clears throat> Did you come here all by yourself? Darling, of course not. He's out oh. buying me my favorite uh, drink. <laughs> okay. That's a relief. <laughs> I mean... Surely, uh, we we both he and I felt safe when I entered the temple of the Golden Warlord. Well, of course. Uh, he will arrive. Uh, okay. He will be arriving to pick me up later, shortly. Above game, I will not be bringing Riker here because I don't want to roleplay another. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Why did you want okay. to talk to Riker? Not really. Like. It was just nice lang bringing like Riker as a character because he was uh, one of my uh, sub PCs. But it's okay, said. Ah, uh, okay. I did not know that. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna speak to the head priest now and tell him, uh, head priest, I, there is a reason as well that I came here besides the oh. items. Uh, oh, yes, yes. You see, and then I take out the chest and I tell him, this chest, I received this from Priest Phoebe from Azrak. Um, before before you proceed, uh, the head priest yeah. will like will like have his like huge dragon uh, dragonborn hands over the chest and kind of like pushing it down, and then he yeah. he like shifts his eyes around, making sure that um, um, no one you know is like. Uh, Who's it? Is like close proximity, and then he says, "Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, Sir Ronin, let's 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 talk about this in, in, in the back room." Private. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's let's go. Uh, so maybe you guys like uh move to, kind of like you know in a, in a chapel there's like a back room and then two like uh, like the the where you know the priests and acolytes rest. Yes. So we can we can make that this room, uh, but okay. all over the, all over the golden. Golden Warlord Temple, uh, is this? Uh, are these like? What are these called again? Um, uh, stained, stained glass, glass windows. Yeah, stained glass windows. But the one here has a depiction of the Golden Warlord himself. Uh, uh. You guys enter, and as Satan and Olympia follow behind, the head priest um, kind of like stops in his tracks, uh, faces Ronin, and says, "I'm I'm sorry, sir, but uh, in yes. in private." Okay. All right. Very well done. And and so. Can I can I show the chest again? Can I let it out? Yeah, yeah. So Olympia and Satan will have to wait out. Roy will also have to wait out. <laughs> oh, go out, Roy, go. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. You show the chest, and then uh, he will say, "He looks like he recognizes it," and then he says, "Where did you find this, sir?" As I mentioned before, I found it. I mean, it was given to us by Priest Phoebe of Azrak, of the Blue Clan. Azrak. And I, I asked them about it. And with my own knowledge, I believe that this chest contained an artifact. An artifact that they believe can help them save Exoria. They were quite vague on that phrasing, but 
from what I know from my own history, this chest contains something that some sorcerer used during the Manticore incident centuries ago. So yes, yes. I was wondering if we have records of, of this weapon and what exactly it can do besides saving Zoria. Firstly, that is a lie. What is inside oh. this chest, which, by the way, was crafted here. Oh. Uh, so I recognize it... recognize our craftsmanship very well. Um, what's inside this chest, if this is the chest that I think it is. Yes. It contains an, the soul. Perhaps even the body of an ancient red dragon that was bred during the God. time of pandemonium. Oh, wow. This so okay, okay. We have. We've been sitting on an ancient red dragon this entire time then. Yes, That's and, good to and know. that is not good to know. A lot of people yes. want their hands on this, and it will yeah. most definitely not save Exoria. At least I do not think it will. The reason it is it locked in this chest that we uh -huh. crafted here uh, to be very difficult to open is so it does yeah. not come out by any means. Why, we... how it has made its way to Azrak, I do not know, but uh -huh. now that it's fallen into your hands, it falls onto your responsibility to make sure this chest does not end up in... Uh, Almost any person's moment. hands here in Exoria, I, I would think. Okay. I will, I will accept that as a disciple of Lord Rico Bishop. But question is, do you know where this was last located, at least before it came here? You know, so I could avoid that place maybe? Or go there? I don't know. Depends mm. on your answer. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I want to say. Uh, okay, he will say. <clears throat> I am not sure where it was last, but from from our records, what little we have, if ever this dragon were to escape the only person who could somehow contain it is uh, of the the bloodline of the one who commissioned this chest from us uh, you tried to open it yes you know of the puzzle and the the riddle of the blood, whatever I, I, it's the yes, old, yes. The the old forge masters uh, were kind of very into the occult and whatnot. Today we're more modern. We we do things more simpler, but uh, it is all very cryptic and gross, to be honest. But um, yeah, this um, this I do not think. Uh, would be truly safe to be just laid out um, out there or like running around, moving around, whatever. Uh, oh. It needs to be either locked up somewhere very, very deep into or like if you get, if you have like a like magic spell to put it in an extra dimensional plane, whatever, you can do that. Or for some reason, be able to destroy the, the dragon within, but it is not safe here in Exoria. You must keep it 
a secret for now. Okay. Do you think it's a good idea? Oh, you do agree then that we could throw this somewhere far away as possible, like in the bottom of the ocean or... No. Oh, and it's too no. easy to find. Okay. The, okay, I as I've, as I've said, there are many, many people looking for this. And they will go <laughs> through the ends of Tarin to find it. Okay. How how it has ended up in your hands is very lucky for you. And if anyone else knows that you're in possession of this, and then immediately to mind, you remember Priest Phoebe? And then yeah. he says, you are risking you and the lives of the people around you. And then you remember Evrain, you know, taking care of Phoebe. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I relate that to the head priest as well. Uh, priest Phoebe knows that I have this, but we have Evrain, uh, Kashmir's companion, taking care of him. So, I don't know, yeah. Right. Uh, for now, I suggest, since nobody knows that you have it on you, um, it would be safe to keep it hidden. I'll keep it on your person uh, as much as you can, or within your group. Um, yeah. But no one outside must know that you have this. So you're telling me to not tell them just how deadly this box is. Your friends? Yeah, I... Because I believe they should know as well. Because I can't be the only one protecting this by myself. Like, I, I trust that they could also assist me in preventing this dangerous item from falling into dangerous hands. If you think it is safe, then it is safe. Okay. All right. Uh, no pressure, then. I will... As I said, I will make it my mission to prevent this. But uh, the bloodline of this person who had this box created, do you know who it is? Maybe they can help me understand. I don't know. Like, do you think they should have the box? The, those who, the descendants of the sorcerer who had this created? Or do you think That's... it's a word? I do mm. not feel is uh, that answer the answer that you seek to this question I do not feel I am wise enough to give to you um, I see but you may remember you may <clears throat> you may try to remember the name Zudel Zudel and if you I'm, manage to meet this a uh, person from this bloodline, then you may decide for yourself if the box will be safer with them or not. Okay. Thank you for that information, High Priest. Uh, there is... Uh... Wait, let me check if I have other questions. Hold on. Drink water because mm. this voice is killing my throat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. It is a good yeah, voice, though. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, shit. I almost forgot. Uh. By the way, head priest, on the subject of Priest Trevi and the Priests of Azrak, um, have you ever interacted with. The high priests of Exoria, you know, do you know what they're like? Do you think there's someone we could trust? I have not interacted with many. As, uh. as you know, Exoria is, is mostly occupied by chromatic dragonborn. And I am by birth originally from Hadan, being a golden dragonborn. Um, uh, to be close with a chromatic dragonborn is risky on my part. 
Um, Let me see. Actually, uh, uh, then he hesitates, and then he says, "But what I do know, and from what I can tell, is." The high priests uh, keep a lot of secrets from each other and from the pharaoh. They okay. keep to themselves mostly, and although they are supposed to be acting as the advisors of the pharaoh and as advisors to all of Exoria, they all seem to have their own, how should I say, um, personal and Selfish interests. Okay. I see, I understand. Hmm. You are familiar with how a pharaoh is chosen? Uh, yes, I just recently learned of that information. It's the high priests who choose the next pharaoh and the next one among his heirs. No, uh, oh. the high priests advise the pharaoh whom to choose but the pharaoh ultimately makes the final choice oh okay and, um of the young heirs of the pharaoh um they currently in today's age they train and they are given formal education and ultimately the right leader who possesses knowledge education political uh, political strategies um, mm -hmm. as well as as well as uh, and then he you know goes to mention like all the other qualities of what a pharaoh should have they are the ones mm -hmm. to become the next heir but there are murmurs that some high priests wish it to return to the old ways the barbaric ways of Cardus God of Kars God, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. They, they wish that the the choosing of the Pharaoh would have to be dealt in um, in battles that would only end in death. Let's see. Okay. Thank you for, for sharing that, head priest. I know it must be dangerous to share this, but uh, thank you for everything. Yes. Uh, before we end this conversation, I have something I must give to you. Um, what is this it? Was, this was left here for you by some... <clears throat> A cloaked figure. Uh, I didn't. I did not learn their name or see their face, but it, they said that once I had you alone in the room, I would have to gift this to you. And then he muffles through like a like a small drawer in this uh, tiny back room, and yeah, uh, opens the draw drawer with a key, and then in the in the drawer is a let me think let me think let me think let me think it is uh it looks like a like a music box okay and then it, it comes with a letter uh with instructions a piece of paper with instructions and then he oh. opens it up and then he's like okay so and he opens a piece of paper, and then he re he reads to himself the instructions. Step one, uh, make sure alone with Ronin, yes. Step two, uh, be in center of the room. Okay, and then he positions himself like to the center of the room uh, in front of okay. you. Okay. And then, uh, let's say he's over there, you're over there. And then step, step three, uh... Ronin in front of you, yes. Uh, uh, sir, please. And then he kind of like nudges you to this position. And then... Okay. And then... He... Then... No, no, no. Uh, like that. 
Okay, we can do this. Oh. Like that. And then he... Okay. And then he reads, and then... Ah, okay. And then he, he drops the piece of paper on the ground, and he starts winding the music box, right? Uh-huh. And then he winds it back, and then you start to hear... Eek, eek, eek. And then the music box opens, and mm-hmm. uh, you start to hear the music box play, right? As yeah. soon as the music box plays, um, the head priest's personality and like form and figure change uh, oh. dramatically. I, by figure okay. and form, I don't mean like his appearance, but like the okay. way he, uh, the way he presents himself. Most of the time. Uh, or almost all the time as you've like gathered from being around this head priest he's usually like very hunched forward he's got like a uh, like a bad like posture but as soon as the music yeah. box plays his posture rises up and then oh. um, he 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 places the music box like um, uh, onto like a, a table beside and then he looks down at his hands and he like shifts his shoulders a little bit and then like cracks his neck and he turns around to okay. face you the the look in his eye looks very very different and then Ooh. he will say in a very different voice <clears throat> he will say in a very different voice ronin Head priest? Yes, I am borrowing this priest's body for the time. What is this? Who are you? What have you done to the head priest? I am the god you worship. Or... Oh. A part of his consciousness. I am not oh. fully complete, but I am enough to have this conversation with you. I like with all the posture and everything, the way he carries himself, I'm a bit convinced. Then I start kneeling towards him and I tell him. Why, why, why would you come to me? Well, what is it, my lord? This problem in Karsgad, I have witnessed it, and I do not like what I see. What is this problem you speak of exactly? The one that you are currently trying to solve. This new breeding of war drakes and battle worms it is an insult to my craft and it is an insult to many other gods that care for dragons and also living things living things should not be made into weapons Yes, I agree. But that's the thing. I We're being pulled from all directions, and I... Please, my lord, give me some guidance. If you could tell me who I should focus on, then maybe I can help prevent this weapons from damaging Baron even more. I am not able to give you precise answers. For if I and no any other god were to deal in mortal strife and mortal situations, it would be it would be against our treaty. But, but my lord, you've done it before a thousand years ago. What changed now? After Pandemonium, we got, and then he kind of like breaks, and then the eye, uh, the eyes of 
of the head priest kind of return back and he slouches again but then he goes back up to his like posture do not question me okay <laughs> and then and then he will say i have been watching you as well you wish to become my champion Yes, it's something I've wanted to ever since I've learned about you. To see if I can be. I will if, consider... If the, I will uh, consider you my champion if you do something for me. And, and what, is, what is that, my lord? During the Great Tyrrhenian War, during Pandemonium, the gods intervened, and the gods were involved because it, we felt it necessary. And part of that involvement was in my crafting a weapon for another god. You are familiar with the goddess of fate, Hanan. Yes, I have heard her in my researches. Goddess of Fate had requested me to create a weapon for her champion at the time as well. So I forged a sword for her champion. That sword was supposed that sword was meant to end the war. Yes. That sword now is lost somewhere in Tarin. Not only is it no longer in use, but it is but it has also lost its power. What you must do to become my champion is to seek out the sword, reforge it anew and restore its power. And after that you will give the sword to Hanan's new champion. She is an elf. Accomplish the this, elves? and I will make you my champion. Okay, okay. Okay, I will. But first, before you can attempt this, deal with the problem in Karsgad. I am not able to disclose any information that you do not already know. But if I can point you to a direction. Hmm, if I can point you to what direction. Uh, he will say. He will say... Okay, okay. Let me review my notes because I don't want to make any mistakes. Okay. Um... An elf does... Ah, oh, shit. I wonder who she is! <laughs> <laughs> Bum bum. Okay, okay, okay. He says, I am not able to disclose to you any information that you do not already know. But if I can point you into one direction, start with the high priests. Okay. I understand, and I will do so by your command. And... He says, I will, you, I will leave you now. And... Okay. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> so I, I, he says, I will leave you now. Uh, and then uh, mutters on a little bit more about the, 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 the dragons being bred and whatever. And then says, living yeah. things. 
should not be made into weapons. Remember that in your in your path. Yes. And then the head priest returns, takes a deep breath. <gasps> oh I will oh. help him and ask him, Are you okay, head priest? No uh what that was what kind of music box? <laughs> he like looks at the music box. I look at the. I try to grab the music box as well and inspect it. It's like yeah, the music box I, has. Can I cast? Like, uh huh. Ah, uh, okay. So interestingly, as soon as the spell or the the effects end, the yeah. the magic of the music box seems to have faded away. In that, the music box itself also loses its color and saturation. Oh shit! So you yeah. you can try to identify it with them with a with like an an identify spell but yeah. it no longer works it's as if it's a regular music box right now ah okay okay uh i asked the head priest do you remember what just happened right now yeah i i i told you about the the chest and i i i got the music box from the drawer i followed the instructions where are the instructions? And he goes down, picks up the piece of paper, and then play music box. No, That's... no, don't do that. Don't do that. You already did that, oh, good sir. And yes, if you I, hadn't noticed, I remember uh, doing this. You were something happened when you played the music box. I don't know how to tell you this, but our God just possessed you and spoke to me. He looks That's at, what happened. He looks at you confused at first, and his face yeah. changes into like some, like, like about to laugh because he thinks you're joking, and then uh -huh. because he sees that your face is serious, he goes back to confused. Yeah. He's like, "Wait," and then, and he just shakes his head. No, 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 no. Uh, that uh, that's not possible. Uh, that's not. Okay. <laughs> mm, no, no, no. no. Do I look like the joking type, uh, head priest? I wouldn't joke something like that casually. No, I, 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 I believe you, sir. But, uh, but, but, uh, he like he, fl he like move, he like flips the page to see if there are more instructions in the back, but there aren't any. He just, he's just very confused right now. Did um. This cloaked figure, what exactly was the color of his cloak again? And could you figure out stuff, other stuff about him, perhaps? Uh, it was a black cloak, and uh -huh. that's all. Uh, they looked, they looked very. If I could tell, like the the body type, it's not like a big. They're not. They're not fat. They're like they look very, you know, like they take care of themselves. They eat right. You know, they work out. But uh, uh -huh. but other than that, uh, I I can't tell you much. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you should reconsider following instructions from people in cloaks because. That happened. So. Oh yes, but um. But it was for you. The. What? Well, did, yeah. Did you? I, what? He's just um, so confused. <laughs> He's like. Hmm. So. Actually, I did appreciate you did that. The most wonderful thing happened to me, but maybe not do that. I mean, I don't know. Like it's up <laughs> to you, really. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But there you go. Um. If you have any other questions for the head priest, you may ask him now, but I'm prepared to mm. move along. Okay. Uh, uh, not at the moment. Let's move along. Okay. You can return okay. back to... Uh, I think at that point, the rest of the group would have like moved back to the library because it's just more comfortable there. So when you guys leave the back room of the chapel... Um, uh, the party's not there anymore. You guys figure that they're in the one, oh. but the head priest does bid you goodbye. Uh, 
at the chapel. And Thank says, you. Um, says it was a pleasure um, seeing you again, Sir Ronin, and uh, it was very nice um, to do something for you and uh, for your ex-wife, uh, Olympia. Uh, thank you yes. again, and uh, let me know if there are, if there's anything else I can do for you for the future. Yes, thank you as well, head priest, uh, and may our God watch over you and this church. And and I fly away to the library because I have my winged boots. That's cool. All right, you guys are in the library. You guys can have a quick yeah. RP session there, I guess, if you want. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a GTKY game. <laughs> GTKY. Yeah. Uh, no, we are we having a? Are we having a skill breaker huddle? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> With Satan in the middle. <laughs> I'm, I'm flying by the way. I'm flying right now because I'm like, you oh, know, okay. like nice wing boots. Yeah, and we see that and we're like, that is very useful. Yes. I mean, I could fly naturally, but that only lasts one minute and then I fall down. So this is great. Yeah. Olympia is also, when, when you enter, Olympia was also flying, trying to learn how to. Oh, darling, look! <laughs> and then now you're both flying. Yeah. You're doing amazing. amazing. Yeah. I can reach the top shelf. <laughs> like, going up to yeah. yeah. Okay, now do a backflip while like flying. Silly, no. Uh, I don't wanna... <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 okay, no, that makes my head hurt, so I'm going back. <laughs> Go. Okay, if you guys want to talk about whatever you guys talked about, okay. you guys can do that now. And then. And so, Rodin, what was yeah. happening in there? Care to share? Okay. I can explain it to you guys, but it's really important that we are in a private place, maybe not in the church, maybe somewhere where we're absolutely sure we cannot be used up on because, you know, um, it's very confidential. So, yeah. Very well. Shall we go to Granny Phyllis's house then? Is that really the only safe place we could like discuss? I'm not aware of anywhere safer to discuss, so I'm open mm. to suggestions. Hmm. Hmm. Casimir, perhaps you know some place. Yes, Casimir. Show us what you got here. Muted, Ken. Um, I'm going to. Saw him and just be like upside down. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, I was muted. Yeah, yeah you were yeah. muted the whole time, bud. So, I'm a faction agent and I got an access to a background of Safe Haven. Wow. Ooh. Wow, I got to use it finally. Jesus. Wow. Wow. Well, no. Sure. Uh, we can do that. Safe Haven, Safe Haven. Uh, it'll just be an empty crib because we're there's only like seven guys in this organization. <laughs> wow. Empty crib. Just it's empty like a warehouse. dorm room. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just <laughs> empty warehouse. Yeah. College, college dorm room. <laughs> we don't get we don't get funding or anything, bro. But uh, sorry, two options is our is a old lady's house and a dorm room. Okay. <laughs> the wedding too. If the dorm room is nearby, it's everywhere. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean um, every word? It's all like... everything at once. <laughs> wow. It's all right, all right. So, um, you guys try to figure out where you can uh, go to to have this private conversation. Uh, coming mm. in, bursting into the room, um, uh, very frantic and kind of like yelling. Um, uh, there's like a one of the priests outside the library is like arguing with this person but you recognize the oh, voice shit. of the person the person is johnny and johnny, uh, johnny oh. is like shouting at the priest the scale breakers oh where are they where are they and then the johnny, priest we're here and, and then goes into the library 
Yeah. What's up? Guys, the hu- the house. Uh there's trouble. Granny Phyllis and Hopper there and and Aunt- we got to go. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's head there. <laughs> no, let's fly, guys. All right, so you guys go. <laughs> Easy go. for you to say. We We're just fly, flying dude. everywhere. <laughs> You can't fly. Fly. Okay, okay. okay. let's all take a water break because I need to pee. While okay. Okay. I already got water. Travel time. I need to Travel pee. time. Travel. Loading screen. Loading screen. Yeah. Alright, I gotta take a leak too then. And refill a lot here. Right back. And I will oh. also take a pee. Sorry. Let me know when everyone's back. Um, what up? What up? What up? Check, 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 bo. check, bo. So Ken's back. Ken is yep, back. I'm here. Who else? Who else is back? Back, back. Back. Cool. Ow. Okay, Ace is back. Uh, okay. Rafi and Link na lang. <clears throat> Why did I? Oh, fuck it. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, I equipped my cloak of action already. Cool. I think I just have to update. Uh, you need uh, to attune it? Okay. Uh, yeah, I already did. Ah. Um, they don't. I don't have to worry about the cloak yeah. thing, right? I can just like even. I can just like put the hood on and then like activate I'm... it that way. But no, uh, I'm just gonna say it's on all the time. Okay, no it's kind of it. It doesn't make sense to me that a cloak of protection, the the effects are on all the time, and then. The one you have, oh. why why can it not be on all the time? Also, kind of weird how they did that. <laughs> I know, right? I think I don't know. I don't know if they did that on purpose or Maybe some it, other reason. I feel like they put it there as like a flavor thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like I when think you're so. trying to hide, you put the cloak on like a cool dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. So yeah, they just the aesthetic is there. Yeah, they just yeah. included it in the actual mechanic so that. You know, people can visualize it better. I guess I don't know. But does that mean like? Should have just made it an object interaction. You know? yeah. How hard but, is it to put yeah. the hood on and or off, too, dude? It's too lazy, bro. Yeah. Also, does that mean that I can't put the hood on and not like this? Like not. Ah uh, no no! You can you just tell me when it's when you want it on or off. Okay, okay. I'm yeah. I'm gonna be very lenient with it. I'm not gonna be like, wait, you said. <laughs> okay. Well, I want it on so I can use the advantage if ever. I don't. I don't think I lose it. Yeah. Okay. A oh, question yeah. on our way there. Could we have a uh, casted mage armor? Head? Yes. Yeah. Oh shit. 
Oh, yes. I can cast oh, armor of Agabus. Oh yeah, we haven't talked about the absorb elements, right? What can about I, get yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> can I get three, three of those? Three, just three met, though. I think yeah, we, we uh, can because we just met you. Yeah. We can because we love each other. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. It's okay. Uh, above, no, above. Anyway, I'll just, I'll just armor fag this. Above game, I do not intend to have a combat here, or oh. probably <laughs> this session, unless you know you do something stupid and fight a fucking <laughs> army. <laughs> no, yeah. That's We've learned our lesson. <laughs> We've learned our lesson. <laughs> also, also, it's an army. We're obviously not gonna. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, go, go yeah, yeah. So this answers, you know, uh, the above game, uh, above game question about like whether or not the Montu are the only military for Exoria. They do have soldiers. Um, they probably okay. do not. Their armor does not look like this. I just didn't have the time okay. to make their tokens. Uh, yeah, but these are the tokens I use for the armies and the soldiers in Avalon. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let's just let's just imagine they're in more uh, Egyptian slash Middle Eastern attire. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I'm thinking like the guards from Aladdin. <laughs> the guards from Aladdin. Uh, uh, but like most of them are, you know, dragonborn. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, Johnny is rushing in. Uh, along the way, he also like you know tells you along the way that the house is uh, being raided. Uh, not raided, but like, uh, is it a raid when the military does does it? The police do it. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a military operation. Basically, and, yes. And uh, uh, he's he's very worried. Uh, but you know, Hop Granny are inside. Uh, but you're still far away from the house, and you already hear Antoine like uh, shout, shouting like French profanities uh, outside the house <laughs> at like all these guards, like you know, uh, like poking around in his shit, in his inventions. Like, uh, okay. so he's over there on the other side of, like in the open yard. He's like, and I'll. Ah, stupid! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, no, those are mine! And then, like that, those shouting. Uh, but yeah, uh -huh. uh, Johnny just, you know, carefully goes in. And then he's like, <gasps> they're here, they're here. And then, there you go. You guys can go in. What's going on? Huh. Why are these yeah, people... Go in. What, what are these people doing? Uh, okay. Charlie, fill us in. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I wanna... Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, and so this, this guard over here, or this soldier over here, he's, like, kind of their commanding officer. And then he will say, All right, so are all of you present then? All of scale breakers? Fucking my accent, uh... Scale, scale breakers. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go with the. Uh... Wait. Yeah. Nah. Anyway, uh, so you guys are present, and then he says, <clears throat> he says in an accent, <laughs> the scale breakers <laughs> are being investigated for the attack on Exoria. There is speculation oh. that you conspired with the attackers. Guiding and leading the dragons through the underground tunnels and into the city. So you're so the house so the house is being raided uh, for any evidence. Okay. It's outlandish. Okay. We saved the, the people in the market. Yes, yeah. the Monto can vouch for us as well. They sent us on this case to investigate the attack. On whose orders is it that we're being arrested right now? Arrested, investigated. I mean, investigated. Uh, I don't they know. they say uh, the high priest told them to 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 conduct this investigation. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and regarding your first thing about like you guys were the ones saving them and Anna, um, he 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 just says like he just says no. I need to do an accent. 
I I am not I am not here to <laughs> fucking he says I am I am not here to decide whether or not you are guilty I am just doing my job but yeah. if I were to guess if it is true that you are the ones to have led these dragons in maybe you learned that uh Exoria is hard to invade and in order to prevent yourselves from being caught you uh, did the saving to save face to save your face the saving was not for Exoria the saving was for you <laughs> hmm. I, I get what you're going with. yes but we are willing to cooperate because you're also trying to get to the bottom of this and clearly we're being framed so you know there's no need to be we don't need to get violent here we will cooperate with this investigation mm. Uh, mm. so inside the house there seems to be nothing so some time passes uh, in the basement there's a soldier there he like just you know uh, brings up even more like uh uh drag like lewd dragonborn magazines that antoine owns I see. Uh, <laughs> and they all Spice. report there's there's nothing inside the house it seems sir and then the, the commanding officer says very well we will take our investigation outside uh that lizard folk seems lizard folk seems to be very uh um how shall i say uh, difficult and then goes out. Uh, if you will follow me, you follow outside. And Anton is just like, you know, shouting at everyone. And like, what are you doing? Uh, no, no, no! Do not touch it. And then you know, a, go- uh, a soldier accidentally breaks something. And he's like, "Ah, you fucking imbecile, stupid ass!" <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Johnny. And then. Uh, the guards, this guard doesn't find anything, so he goes over to where the captain is, over there. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll just say captain. So this is the captain. The guard mm-hmm. over here, like, accidentally, like, activates a barrel bot, uh, and then, like, uh, because <laughs> he activated a barrel bot, he, re- like, on reflex, like, you know, he's like, oh shit, and then, slashes it and then destroys the barrel bot with with like two swings and then Antoine is like no and then uh nothing nothing over there uh, and then from the tent um this this soldier will be clutching um what looks like a, a piece of paper parchment right and yeah. goes around Antoine, hands it to the captain. And on the parchment is a letter. And the letter, including in the letter, uh, the captain does not say. But the captain will say, I will face you, and says, If you would kindly please uh, gather in a straight line over there. Uh, so for now, should we gather in a straight line or? Uh, I don't like where this is going. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then. We will we will do that then. Okay, let's go, guys. Roy, come over. You guys can be in front of the the four, so that yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. so that it's not too cramped. Yeah, like that. Cool. I'm already part of the breakers. <laughs> I mean, you're, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're ta- you're tagging along. So, uh, and then the captain will stand in front of you. Uh, the three will 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 be at ease behind him. Uh, uh, the the captain will nod at this one, and this one will go inside. And then you hear marching outside, right? And then so mm-hmm. the soldiers are like rearranging themselves and shit. Oh, uh, but yeah, 
Uh, these ones on the outside of the, of the fence, they're they're wielding uh -huh. like longbows. So there you have it. Uh, and then he will say. He will raise the the paper and he will say. If you are not conspiring with the attackers on the city, how do you explain this? Now on the letter, uh, he will say, This letter is from the attackers directed towards you, scale breakers. Saying that you are collaborating on this and it is even signed you know, at the bottom of the page. It, mm -hmm. With the same symbol that was found on the abnormal dragon that you that that we have found all over the abnormal dragons that we have found all over the city. Wow. Oh. It is clear to me well, and to everyone mm -hmm. here that you are guilty. Um. Wait. Please oh, let me see your passive perception checks, ha. Huh? I'm nineteen. 19? I have 10. Yep, 19. And it's 14. I could see between time and space. Not yet, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so Kaz no, Kazmir has 19, 14. Okay, for, so... Kazmir and Satori... Let me see again. Kazmir's over here. Satori's over here. Uh... You guys uh, notice first Antoine slip into the tent. Oh. Right? And then, but yeah. before he did that, he whispered to like Johnny and, and Hop. And then now Johnny, Johnny is like whispering to Satan. Uh, Hop is whispering to Jack and to, to Ronin uh, that. Uh, if if shit hits the fan <laughs> you guys go in the tent <laughs> okay all right uh, uh the captain continues on with his with his speech and shit and then from inside the house the other another soldier will burst out and then and then tell the captain captain there's captain there's a there's a secret uh, tunnel digging into the the underground passageways uh, downstairs in the basement. I did not see it at first, but it was behind the bookshelf. Uh, but it is there. Uh, they are the culprits. It, I am sure of it now. And the captain raises his hand, and all the the, the soldiers draw their weapons. Shing. And then the captain says, "Scale breakers, by order of the high priests of Exoria." You're hereby under oh, arrest. Whoa, whoa, hold on, mate. I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you part of this group? Technically, no. We yeah. literally just met like an hour ago. It's an honor to be the Emperor. Thank you very much. <laughs> but you know, everyone was friends with you. And to be honest, anyone that everyone's friends with can do something like this. Then you will be captured with them. Oh. Soldiers. That's clearly fabricated, Captain. And then, and then... We weren't even formed after the attack as the scale breakers. I almost died during the attack. <laughs> uh, at this yeah. point, at this point, um, uh, Hop is like, you know, kind of like guiding Granny Phyllis inside. And then Johnny... But but before they're leaving, um, Captain is telling telling the soldier is, is like like gives the soldier a nod, and then the soldier uh, kind of goes out and then outside, and then you hear uh, I know the the people with the longbows outside the guards with the longbows outside, they um, <clears throat> take their longbow and they and they take their arrows, they dip it in a small like tub of oil and set fire to it and oh, the captain the captain 
will say uh, uh, by conspiring against I uh, by conspiring against uh, Exoria and its citizens uh, we hereby are reclaiming this property guards burn it and and they lose the arrows onto the house and onto the tent and fire is now burning uh, spreading around and granny phyllis is is now crying hop is you know uh sad but is like focused i can actually do something about this oh you want to do it what do you want to do do it do it okay is it okay my dude what do you want to do yeah Yeah. do whatever you want i'm gonna uh, run but i feel bad if i run also as soon as i I noticed that there's fire being used i'm like "Hmm, foolish of you then i cast a spell Uh i can (laughs) and i say bring down frigid ice and hail from the plain of ice blizzard oh shit i cast sleet storm Oh shit. Let's fuck you to the fire, man. Okay. Let's 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 go and give you like also like hide us or something. Huh? Let's hide good. us too. Let's give like uh, yeah, it time. makes us it makes the area heavily obscured and mm. anyone in it will be knocked prone as well. They okay. have to they have to do like uh rolls also to see if where they which direction they walk to, towards, right? Or something. Oh, no, 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 that one was something I homebrewed when we were doing that, so oh, you don't okay. have to do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, 40 feet in diameter, I believe. That's big. Big, big. That's no, 40 big. foot radius, that's even better. Big, that's big. like 40 like foot diameter. Big, that's big, big. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's huge. That should cover the whole house, basically. Just make sure that the house is covered so it doesn't, you know. Oh, that that's too. everyone. That is 40 feet, right? Oh no, oh, no it's too big. Yeah, it's too big. yeah, it's too big. I have to delete that, but it is really big. <laughs> it is really big. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really kind of big. big. Can we big, also big. not get hit by it? I don't know. Um, I think we don't it's wanna... really hard to okay. maneuver it that way. So let okay. me try. I'll try. But yeah, like whatever the case <laughs> is, I'll try to make as much of the house not get burned. So yeah. I concentrate on this for one minute. <laughs> should be enough of a distraction <laughs> mm. okay so you do this uh so the the captain is just at the edge of of this but the captain is shouting they are resisting attack them i cast a tangle, I cast a tangle at these guys these oh. four guys sure 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 but, well <laughs> So sure. they're just like, oh, they threw their swords, these fuckers. And Tangle mm-hmm. is 90 feet? What the hell? Wait, no, 90. What is that? 90, 90 feet. 90 foot foot range, feet. I think. Yes, 90 feet range is 20 foot square. 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 Yeah, these, square you can, yeah these three outside the sphere. Yeah, and I put it, put it up a bit again. But is there, are there plants there? Because it's a requirement of plants. I mean, you can. No, okay. no, no, no. It says grasping weeds and vines sprout up from the ground. From the so ground, yes, plant. correct. Yeah. They just, just yeah, they just sprout up, sprout up from the sand. Yep. And they have to make a strength saving throw or be restrained. I'll, uh, I'll say be... they're they're restrained. Uh, okay. Oh, it's strong enough. They strong enough. And I said, you got a DM makers are gonna kill us right now. That's a word. is... Or this fuck is doing right behind us. Uh, we... okay. <clears throat> uh, so, so Are they... Going to the tent, right? Yeah, they're, yes. they're, they're all, like, inside, inside. You go inside, yes. this is, this is Antoine's, like, laboratory, right? Uh, but you yeah. already see, like, it's like a, a platform on the ground, and it's already opened up to reveal, like, stairs, uh, uh, to underground. Uh-huh. And Anton is already like, and hurry up! No, we are getting, uh, <clears throat> we are getting. Fucking my accents. We are. <laughs> An- Anton, Anton, French. No, no, no. We are, we are getting out of here. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> yes, we, we are. Let's go. Okay, so you guys go. Uh, you guys go underground, and there is this huge. I mean, huge 
um, cavern, it seems. And for everyone, but maybe Ronin especially, you see something magnificent. Uh, magnificent in engineering and oh. uh, magic as well. Uh, inside this underground cavern is a full-sized airship. Oh my god. And then Anton is telling you all to get on get onto the airship while he while he prepares the uh the 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 he prepares the um the whole thing, right? Um so you guys are getting on the airship and then uh Anton uh, still inside the cavern like uh pulls down on a, on a lever and then above the cavern there are like it's it's a fake ground uh mm. of like uh metal and then above the metal is like the soil and the sand that you guys were standing on earlier and it starts to yeah. open and you start hearing the the gears clinging and the the sound of the doors opening and uh you guys uh, see the light pour into uh, the cavern and uh, the people the guards who are like in the entangled <laughs> in the entangled vines they fall into the cavern <laughs> and then uh, let me arrange you guys and let yeah. me show you what you're on right now okay because it's pretty sick you know, I'm just glad Olympia didn't tag along I think I would have the sense to tell her to stay out of this uh, and you know I don't know, be somewhere else while we do this. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know, like, yeah, she's I, out I, of this boat. No, uh, uh -huh. I, I, I didn't say, because Olympia said that she had, like, the, to uh, to meet with, like, other politicians and shit, right? So, that's true. That's true. When, you, when you left the golden, uh, the temple, she wouldn't have tagged along. Mm -hmm. She was, she would be like, oh, it was, ni it was nice to see you again. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye there you go okay so you guys are on the airship but let me show you what the airship looks like i'm pretty proud of this i made this myself but i'm excited actually oh there. my god airship yes oh, whoa. I love it. all right uh, we'll name the airship ted after the camo we just abandoned <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking actually no not even our airship so there you go it's not and even then <laughs> you guys and it can move. Uh, no, let me move it. Stop! Stop! Oh my god! <laughs> stop! Stop! Oh, okay. did, did you make it a mount? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I sorry, made it a mount. A mount. And oh, then you shit. guys, um, yes. Leave. Um, but you see the soldiers trying to, to like shoot, uh, shoot their arrows at you guys. Um, but you know, you guys are unaffected. You guys are too high or like getting to that high point. Um, uh, Granny is still is still sad, right? Uh, because you guys are leaving the home, and uh, the art, some of the archers who, you know, still have their arrows with the fire, they're burning down the tent. Uh, some of <laughs> some of the soldiers are like now like running into the the property, they're destroying the barrel bots. Uh, <laughs> God. Uh, and 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 yeah, but you guys are now on the airship, and you guys are getting on out of there. Uh, with yeah. that, let me let me change the map real quick, and we can. Yeah, I know fugitive arc. Ah, oh, I love it actually. <laughs> I say to the group that, man, this country has a lot of issues. <laughs> a lot yes. of issues. This country is filled with a bunch of fuckers <laughs> at the top. <laughs> I wanted to know what the... Cam... What is it? Uh... Cam... What's Cam... 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 No. Cam... 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 first day on the group. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> and we're really invaded and stuff. Like, what the fuck did I get myself into? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's used to it at this point. Hang on. He's been me... a fugitive. 
Avril and him did something in Star Power Flower Isles that he can't go back to. Oh. What? Let me. Yeah. Oh, wow, that'd okay. be an interesting story for Satan. To... What are you, 300 years old? That's how they met. <laughs> what used to be formerly? Uh, okay. I I asked Anton. This is such a awkward ti timing to ask, but like I asked Anton, does this airship have a name? By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Anton is like, what? Oh, uh, we oui, we oui, are, uh, but uh, I forget it's on piece of paper somewhere. Uh, but we focus. <laughs> okay. It's like man, man, the <laughs> man, the cannons. Uh, although they're 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 still quite new. I haven't quite put the fuse in yet. So. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, I'll man the cannons. Fine. <laughs> you you have to install the fuse first, and then up uh, you figure it out. <laughs> I'll install the fuel well. Does it use oil as fuel well? I can make oil. No, no, no. Right I, uh, it's a little, little oh. uh, twine of string. You twist around and then you dip in oil. Then you put the string, okay. little piece inside the little hole on the back of the cannon. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I'll do that. I use my engineering skills to help. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh uh, wait. I'm gonna lock the, lock the ship so it's not yeah, gonna yeah, move yeah. around. There you go. Okay. And then you guys can move your tokens freely. Uh, yeah. But there you go. I'm recycling this uh, map, Lam. You guys aren't. You guys aren't here on the. Okay. As we not... passed by, we're like, "Hi, Jammy." No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> All right. So you guys are. I'm so proud of this airship, man. It's like. I I really am. Yeah, really I love good. it. Holy crap! I love this. I made oh, the like... treasure planet vibes. Oh, fuck it! Eh. <laughs> I still need to watch. I'm, I'm Dude, still gonna, the, the I'm still gonna. Thrusters are barrels. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I love it. The, the thrusters are barrels that I just like resize to be big. But then... it makes sense because he uses barrels all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barrel bots. Yeah. Barrel yeah. boosters. He's, he's like, <laughs> yeah, barrel boosters. All oh, good shit. You get a clover leaf. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. But like. Uh, you know, Anton, as uh, as crafty as he is, he's not. You know, he's also not the richest. He doesn't have like unlimited money. <laughs> so, I know. Oh my so god! Very... I'm gonna bring him back to the empire just to you know. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so happy with this. But anyway, you guys make it so that you're uh safely away from the city, like high up. But even yeah. then, when you guys, I'm just gonna breeze through this part because i don't know how to deal with air combat yet but yeah uh the soldiers do try to chase after you with their own airships that are you know the the smaller smaller faster ones uh, oh my god and uh uh but you know you guys evade them quickly enough uh the smaller faster airships they can't go as high as the full-sized airships your this airship is a full-sized one uh, so you guys can get uh way high um but yeah. there you go you make it so that you're safe from the city and mood the mood on the main deck is very heavy right now uh granny phyllis just lost a home but so did hop and johnny right and antoine uh, Antoine is just on the steering wheel and although he is usually always very loud and boisterous and energetic he seems very down uh, I think Granny Phyllis would be below deck or like in, in a quarter somewhere and Hop is consoling her and uh -huh. Johnny Johnny would be like um Somewhere just on on the on the deck as well, maybe maybe um, here in the front. What's the name of the front front side of the deck? The it's the the bow. The bow. The bow. Yeah, the oh, bow. Wait, no, like... Starboard is right. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Starboard, starboard is right. Is yeah, yeah. There you go. Starboard so, uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh even though the situation is very sad and awkward, and I uh, know. Like, Ronin is also a bit distressed, but at the same time, like, he's so amazed by the airship that he's, like, in a weird mix of, like, 
shit, we're fugitives, but this is a very cool airship, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah. that's just like my polar look on his face right now, you know? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, but, I... but now you guys are, you know, in a private place to talk, to, 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 to speak yeah. freely. <laughs> That's one way to go about it. That's one way to go about one it. Way to go about one way to I also gather everyone and tell them, so I guess we're fugitives now, guys. Fugitives of the law. We are... Yeah. I want my mom. <laughs> I want my mom too, actually. Uh, um... Satanile, uh... If you have any way of telling my wife Olympia that we're fugitives now, and um, yeah, that would be great. It, I guess it's good if she knows that and doesn't come around looking for me or wondering where I am because, yeah. So yeah, I have uh, plenty of people I need to inform, but I will need to rest up for that. I okay. already memorized the maximum number of things I could memorize today. Okay. Uh... Also, come cast you, my friend. Um, uh, welcome to the skill breakers. I'm sorry it started out like this. It fucking sucks. But you know, if we work together, we could you know turn this whole thing around and not be fugitives. Um, Casper, Casper just shrugs and just says, "Well, gonna raise that worse." Average friends, they always get themselves in this good situation. You're a bit more alive than what they are, though, so that's an improvement. So this is you are fault. you are giving us too much um landmines of information, but you know I like that. You yeah, uh, you're yeah good. Okay, you know things about Omen. They're what? neutral. They're neutral. When, huh? when you're with Avrin. They're always bad. <laughs> when you're with me, well, don't know what to about what. Not much of a believer myself. Okay. Let's uh, hope the curse, the curse doesn't live on, shall we? Okay. I hope so, yes. Uh, anyway, uh, speaking of private places, I think now's the right time. Let's. Well, I might as well say this now while we're high up in the air and no one can listen in. Um. The chest that we have in our possession, guys, it contains the body and soul of an ancient red dragon. And if it is released, it will suck for everyone. And now it's in my responsibility to either keep it and protect it at all costs or find uh, the, a sorcerer of the Zudel Bland line and see if they're worthy of holding onto this chest. Basically. Can, you, can you even open the chest? Can it even be okay. open? Uh, I cannot, we cannot, no one can, unless, yes. Yes, yeah. they have a Zedel bloodline. Can you yeah. try? Do you want to try? No, we should not <laughs> open this box, ever. I mean, it's a red dragon, what's the worst thing that could be? Uh, the strong dragon. Blood, it's an angry, evil red dragon that has no problems eating whoever freed it, you know? Or it could be a very reasonable dragon. Try not to be racist here. Just saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, this, I don't know. Um, Not being racist, but being under... I mean, if I was trapped in something for, like, centuries, I would be also angry and lash out at anything. Right, but you so. see, that's you, mate. And there's a dragon we're talking about. I'm pretty sure they live a bunch of lives before they get to that point. The point is, and we shouldn't it, open this or we'll all die. <laughs> my point is that it could be our best bet. Considering that you're fighting an army right now. And they we'll worry about place. that if we can even open the box, which we probably never will, because only this Zabdel bloodline can. And unless one of us is, then we will never open it. Ever. And I'm just saying, if you find someone who has it, it should be an option. Okay. We'll keep that in mind, Casper. We'll keep that in mind, if this is ever open. Now, which how the hell did you get your voice in this situation, anyway? Uh... Oh. Really yeah, we're afraid. Planted information. 
we're being fucking framed by the high priests. I wouldn't think that's a word. I trusted you guys from the start. I mean, uh, let's, con- uh, let's consider the facts, though. <clears throat> At least the facts that we have witnessed. Yeah. So did they just carry around that paper and then plant it inside the tent? Of course. They can easily do that. Cops can just do that. You know, they can plant evidence. Like, that's not like they they always do that throughout history. I think we should take um, Granny Phyllis and Hops and Antoine's um, collection because they were there when this was happening. Yeah, I think we should speak to Johnny. Uh, mostly because Hop's comfo- uh, comforting Granny Phyllis, and I don't think Anton's in a mood. Yes. Let's talk to Johnny first. Uh, Roy, try to, uh, I don't know, cheer them up, will you? Go on. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, here he goes. Okay. I will do my best. Thank you. Is that an okay voice? I'm just gonna stick with that voice all throughout now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, oh, all right, okay. So Roy will go knock on the door. Knock, <laughs> knock. <laughs> okay, Satan, you're with Johnny? Me too. Okay. And the others can join too. Okay. Yeah, come on, guys. Go back for it. All right. Jack's and gonna Jack's gonna start cooking. I got uh, move myself. Therapy. I can't move. You can't. Can? I can't. I move on you. Thanks. You can't move your own piece. That's weird. No, I stuck in the cross. I don't know why. I'm restarting it. Oh okay. Might be lagging for you, but maybe. Maybe. Okay. Hey, with Johnny. So, yeah. Johnny's like, oh. uh... Hey boys, huh? Tough hey, day, Johnny. huh? It Did. is really rough for all of us. Um, but uh, Johnny, I know it's, I, I know it's a pretty bad time to talk about it. But could you tell us what exactly happened? Uh, before it, you came to us, it was it was quite a shock, really. Uh, yes, we were just, we were just, you know. Um, in the house and suddenly we heard footsteps like marching outside and Uh the one soldier yelled from the outside telling us to 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 go out and then we opened the door and they just uh, the captain just barged in and said that we were being investigated for something or whatever uh-huh. and we said that we were uh-huh. gonna we were gonna comply but then Antoine started to to like get all you know you know Antoine he gets pissy of course. started started like cussing cussing the soldiers out and whatever um granny started crying uh and then uh when when they went through the house they they were not, they were not um, uh, letting up at all. They were flipping, flipping the tables, f- mm-hmm. throwing the, the the plates and like books around. Yes. Uh, and and I thought it wasn't right, so, so so I I I, I ran and and found you guys. Yeah. Okay. I see. And they didn't tell you why they were doing that until we arrived. No, no. They 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 told us the the thing about um, us being being uh, involved with the attack on the on a thing, and um, you. It's quite interesting because once they mentioned the underground tunnels, uh, Anton. That was when Anton started. Um, um, acting all all pissy and and shouting and and stuff. So I'm. Oh. Maybe you should talk to him. I mean. You know what? Okay. I, I I'll talk to him with you. Okay. 
Well, let's right. go together. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, let's go to Anton. Let me move Anton. these guys there, over there. Johnny's Tommy, over there. Though. Yeah. So Johnny's like. Johnny's like. Hey, Anton. We oui, miss you, Johnny. Uh, what is what what is this uh life now huh we are fugitives but for us does it really feel that much different huh we've been sort of outcasts our whole lives and johnny is like yeah it does feel different i had a roof over my head you did too and now we will be under the sky and over the clouds. Is that not a little bit better? Johnny is like, cut the shit, Anton. <laughs> 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 when those cool. soldiers mentioned the underground tunnels and the attack and we were involved, you started acting all, all fishy. And Anton said, of course I acted all fishy. We have underground tunnels underneath our house. Of course we would be suspect to this. And once they found it, once they found this and found uh, uh, what I do underground, they will blame us. So, it was right for us to go down there and, and leave while, while, while we can. Otherwise, can well, yeah, sure, you can incite him. <laughs> Can I do two? Sure, sure, I sure. Would too, Cause Hattery oh, is still thinking that. about the letter in the tent. Sure, I sure, 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 sure. Hold on, I have four tents, so I should roll these. Casimir, uh, Casimir, with your ten, you're just like, whoa, his his accent's pretty weird. Like, what, what is yeah, that? Like, where did he come from? <laughs> Dude, 22, Satori, 22. Jesus. There's my, yeah. There's your D20. <laughs> okay, uh... Pretty good rules. Everyone except Casimir can kind of tell. It would make sense, you know. Casimir's the new guy. But, yeah, I'm the new guy. But the rest of you, you guys uh, feel that uh, Anton's being genuine. Uh, uh -huh. That the way he acted was because he knew that uh, if if he just complied, you guys would definitely be arrested or worse, uh, attacked. You know, like which did happen earlier so it's because of anton that you guys were able to to leave safely okay yeah. you know the the whole thing was stacked against us so i guess it was for the best and just to be proper there wasn't anybody who like sent a letter to you guys while we were away I was there uh, Anton is like, not, not to my uh, memory or knowledge, uh, I only really wait for mail when it's addressed to, to me, you know? Uh, I like my I like my magazines and... Uh, Johnny, <laughs> no. you? And Johnny is like... Uh, Johnny is like, no, no, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not into Dragonborn women. Oh. And Anton is like, no, no, the letters, you stupid idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Johnny is like Oh yeah um, let us know it was just the just the the one for Ronin from from your ex your ex wife and yeah. uh and he he thinks uh no nothing nothing comes to mind really uh but Anton does also believe that you know the uh it was very convenient for them to blame it on you uh, yeah. uh on the scale breakers because of the situation right with the tunnels yes. underground and then johnny is like well, speaking of uh, uh wait no johnny's voice speaking of the the tunnels underground no none of us knew those existed and then anton is like yeah i was gonna ask that did, did no one did 
Did only Anton know that there were tunnels underneath this very house? I mean, that house. Anton is like, of course it was not just Antoine who knows, no? Granny what? also knew. <laughs> oh, for the... Okay. Hmm. This is... Uh, thinking this that is... someone knew where this... Knew about the t existence of these tunnels. So yeah, could there know. also be any... Oh, shit. Yeah. If whoever is leading those dragons, obviously they would probably have found out that the tunnel connects to this house as well. I mean... Yes, but uh, th th this could also be coincidence. No, uh, I, I, but, but uh, my pers my personal take is uh, we uh Anton sink sink sink, and then he he he's thinking right, but then he composes mm -hmm. himself and then he says, okay, uh, the facts are the only people who knew about the tunnels were Granny, Phyllis, and Anton. We. Oui? Uh, yes. I, Anton, uh, architect, engineer, artist extraordinaire, uh, needed this space so that I mm -hmm. could create my uh, creations with no disturbance at all. We, oui? and if yeah. I decided to uh, tell uh, Johnny or Hop about uh, the underground tunnels, uh, that means they will invade my space, and Anton does not like that. No. When Anton is creating art, Anton wants to be alone by himself, only with the company of his tools, with uh, his barrel bots. We, oui? mm -hmm. uh, I did not want no uh, Johnny to uh, come in and be like, "Oh, hello, Anton. What are you working on?" I do not want this. I do not want Hop to be like, "Oh, Anton, is it okay if I show my friends around your airship?" Uh, no, no, I no, wish, no, no. I whisper. I wish for someone next to him, like, does he always talk this much? Yes. <laughs> when is he gonna get uh, to the point? <laughs> I tell Tasman, like, he does, but you know, considering he built a massive, impressive airship with... Despite having no money, I think he's allowed to speak as much as he likes. <laughs> <you know? laughs> there you go. So, so, so Anton is, is saying that, so... Uh, it is quite curious that the person who has quote unquote sent this letter or planted this letter or wherever this fucking letter came from eh, uh, knew that there would be tunnels underground the house. We? Oui? Oui, so, yes. I am now suspicious of no. all the people <laughs> points at all of you. No. All the people you I, you snoop around, got, you go inside. Guy, you, might. you go inside uh, Anton's tent, even though Anton said he's off limits. You see the underground tunnel, uh, and then you you tell uh, all your friends. Oh, you know my we have the friend Anton. His underground tunnel house, his airship and house. So which one of you? I just I just <laughs> got him. I by that logic, then that's you the most suspicious. The dead, oh, the dead oh, Pharaoh, no, the dead no, Pharaoh no, right no. now in the Skimitar is face palming himself. <laughs> and he says, I can't believe you're working with these people, Casimir. <laughs> I expect a lot more from you. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I thought, now, hold on. We literally just found out about these tunnels like five minutes ago. It can't be us. And also, I feel like if anyone else knew the tunnels, they would probably be also completely focused on this massive airship as well. So I don't think anyone came from the tunnels. So okay, yeah. okay. Clearly, the, clearly the soldiers planted it. All right, but here is uh, well, what I will tell you, which might sway things on our side. Okay, we uh, okay. the tunnels underneath our house. Do not yeah. connect to any exits outside the city, and they do ah. not connect mm. with the same tunnels that were used to go uh, to where the, uh, the dragons popped out of. So okay. our tunnels under the house are are uh, isolated. Clean. Clean. Yes, we. Mm. So okay. So if we can somehow convince. 
uh, the military or the high priest to go down the tunnels and show to them that uh, uh, it cannot be connected with anything. Maybe that could help us. But as of right now, I do not think uh, we are in position for them to trust us. Yes. So that is true. If the culprit is uh, not any one of you here, it is wise that we figure out uh, who is uh, framing us, framing Anton. My reputation is at stake here. I am budding. <laughs> he goes on. Let's see. I am my architect, uh, engineer, uh, artist extraordinaire. Uh, I, and then yeah, that's it. Okay, that is true. We actually have to figure this out. Um, clearly, it's the high priest. That's what I think. What about the rest of you? Well, yes, it was the high priest who said them. Yeah. Just don't know which one. Probably. Exoria. Didn't they say that? No, yeah, which one? There are like multiple high priests. There are multiple high priests, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought the Exo oh, Exoria has a... They have five. five. Yeah, from the the five colors, the chromatic clans. Okay, I thought it was the same as Azra, where it's like... Not necessarily, like priest. we can confirm yeah. yeah. Yeah, so no, that... I mean, like, I thought it was the same system in Azra, where there's like one high priest for the city. Hmm. Um. No, yeah. so so Azrak and the other chromatic uh, cities, they have their high priest, right? But those yeah. same high priests, the five that rule the different cities, they collectively are uh, the high priests of Exoria that uh, oh, okay. advise the pharaoh. So yeah. Ah, uh, oh, okay. All yes. Right. Yes. There we go. So that's why. That's why when the high priests leave their cities to go to Exoria and have like meetings and whatever, they leave their priest, like they assign a priest in their home city to to be the leader, which in Azrak's case was Priest Phoebe. Phoebe. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, so Satan will say at this point, uh, I think we can narrow this down a little bit. We know that the high priests were involved. But who had the most to gain by framing the scale breakers? Mm. My mind is on. The, I'm not reaching the answer right now, but give me time. Uh... <laughs> well, we know nothing about the other high priests. The only high priest we really know anything about is the blue one. Yeah. yeah, they're they're the only ones you've interacted with. I mean, right? Like that whole faction. Yeah. Yeah, that whole faction. Do you but think? They, but they know about they when we went to Azrak, they knew about the scale breakers. Phoebe yeah. knew about us. Yeah, they, they knew did. we were coming. Mm -hmm. So, someone higher up already knows about us. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking. Might be the blue high priests doing. I think there's a way for me to help figure out more info about that, but I will need to rest up. And uh, wait, you... is this is me thinking to contact Sarab to mm. see what's been going on. Okay. Is there any way we can speak with the Montus? We can, I was gonna say, you could try contacting Mia, you know, the yeah, lady. Yeah, I can send her, yeah. Mm. But don't tell her where we are, let's not compromise the airship's position. Mm. Yeah. Anton is also yeah. like, wait, so if we think uh, as is a uh, high priest uh, culprit, uh, uh, do we not want to confront them? No? Where are they? We will go there. <laughs> no, we will not. Did you not <laughs> just walk <laughs> away? <laughs> no, what? Yes, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> we're strong enough. I'm we can't just ride right because we'll get struck by lightning and die. For That's stock. one of the best ideas I've heard all this time. <laughs> <laughs> we still need to figure as much as we can before we make a move. So, so okay. <laughs> so, okay. Mm -hmm. We are on airship now. We can uh, go to uh, this high priest, which is not very popular uh, vote. I'm okay. Uh, 
But do we want to uh, go to Montu? This Mia person or where where where's where where are they? We can try. Last we heard she was going to the green high priest yeah. city. Is it? We can go there. Wait, let me review. Are you sure? Mm. No, wait, wait. Or was it white? So either green No, or no, no, it's not white or black. White or black, they didn't go either. It's red, okay. green, and blue. I think she uh, went for red or green. The gamer <laughs> colors. Gamer, RGB. <laughs> RGB. Yeah, uh, the Mon had... the Monto went to red and the High Priest went to green. Okay. I mean, me, I Both went red. Oh, okay, no. Yeah. I, I see. Okay, okay. so <laughs> red it is. But at the same time, that might be a bad idea since we know the contents of this artifact. Uh... <laughs> Just because we brought. A red dragon in a red dragon city, that doesn't mean anything, well, I guess. We might be We've able never to been center. there. <laughs> We've never been there before, Odin. We have no idea what's waiting mm -hmm. for us. That is true. I mean, this whole, this whole adventure, we have no idea what has been happening. That's true, so, actually. What's another thing to add to that? Like, <laughs> what's another drop to the bucket, you know? Very well, um, sorry. Oh. Short on allies, and I don't know if we can trust Mia. Maybe let's wait a day until I can contact her. Okay. okay. Uh, call. So tomorrow we you make calls and we decide uh where to go. We. Yes. I want my mm. mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need uh, a guardian. I need an adult. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, today was rough day. Um, I will find the. I will just be circling around safe, safe places for now. Okay. And, but we. Oh yeah. There's a good day oh. to you, gentlemen. Well, not very good day, but I will. Wait. Who are you? What happened to a uh, big, uh, dark, scary guy? Oh, uh, well, he left. Like... Yes, other things to do. Bigger things, yeah. I guess. Bigger than uh... our problem? Our problem is very big. <laughs> Long, he, was big for you. Um, he was killed, he got back to life, and the little girl he came with is missing, and now he went off to look for her. That's the short story. Ah. Okay, that I understand. Uh, the strong bond of friendship and love. Uh, yes, we. Oui. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Uh, more important than anything. Yes, yes, true, true, true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, hello, you will be joining us, new friend. Uh, still still big and strong, but uh, not, as, not as dark and gloomy. You're more shiny. Yeah. Shiny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, Okay, is he okay? And then, like, whispers to, like, Ronin Saturday, is he... Can he be trusted? Uh... I don't know, you know? Like, well, we still need to get to know him. We just met him today. I sometimes hear him talking to himself. Yeah, that, that too. Like, he thinks we ah, don't know this That is a mark of genius! Very good. Anton several times talks to himself uh, multiple times a day. So, uh, you, sir, I can accept. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> Excuse me, what just happened? That was, that was a bit out of it. No, um... myself. Casimir, <laughs> <laughs> we kind of noticed you mumble to yourself and you think we don't notice, but we do notice, so... Oh, uh, it's just, it's just no. a bit of a hobby of mine, you know? It's mm. dangerous. We tend to live out in the wild, get a bit lonely, you get to learn to talk with yourself. Don't you I mean, like... You know the saying, there's no other best friend than yourself? Yes. Exactly. Sure. Say so. Uh by the way, uh Hmm. So we are going to contact Mia and see where we go from there. That is that correct? Yes, and I also want to contact my contact back in Azrak. 
Mm. Okay. Perhaps they know something. Mm. And and also please my ex-wife when you can, if you can, because right. two worries. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Understood. And uh hmm. Oh uh yeah I I think we should really focus on the high priest. I really have a big feeling there. I don't know behind all this. I don't know how to explain it, but something tells me that they're behind <laughs> it. You're, you're not telling us that you met with your god. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say, well, yes, Ronan. We did talk about that earlier. We aren't changing the plan, are we? We're not. We're not. We're still under the assumption that we can trust the Montu, right? We will find out tomorrow. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> um, if you guys so want, I just want to take this opportunity to use the spider climbing boots oh, and that's then cool. just like I go underneath the ship and just inspect it from there. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna fly around too and check it out. You know. Yeah. Uh yeah. At the end of that. Uh, as well, Anton will like tell Ronin that uh, Ronin, you wish to uh, fly this ship, eh? Yes, 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 yes. I want to. I want to. I want to. Yes. Okay, I uh, step over here, and then so okay. this is Will. Uh, you steer left, go left. Steer right, go right. There are yes. there are uh, two levers uh, to your to your right. You press yes. forward on the lever for the the ship to tilt down, dip down. You pull up for uh, a ship to uh, tilt, tilt, tilt upwards. We. Oui? Okay. Uh, so does this mean that you are captain and I am first mate? Is this what's happening right now? Like. Uh. Is this uh? Do do you wish to be the case? You wish to be a uh, helmsman? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, first mate, I don't know, the guy who drives, I guess. I mean, you can be the captain, you built this ship, you know, it's you, all you. But, uh, I, I'd like to drive it, you know, I've never dro driven an airship before. Alright, we, oui. uh, Anton is now architect, engineer, uh, captain, uh, artista extraordinaire. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. add more titles to my name. Okay, you drive around the ship, I will take rest. <laughs> and it goes down. Hmm, I like this name, uh, Captain Antoine. And it goes down. <laughs> I ask him, wait, what's the name of the ship? Oh, the ship's name is... Uh, and it's kind of like... <laughs> uh, Muttles into the distance. Um, I do not have one fixed yet, but I was, I was thinking something along the lines of... Like... Uh, cloud hopper or like sky, uh, uh, wind skip, whatever, something like that. But up to you. I was gonna suggest, uh, I don't know, like, uh, Anton, can we just name it after the scale breaker? <laughs> <laughs> it'll be all, it'll also be called a scale breaker. Uh, not really. Uh, this can be called. Come on, guys. Let's work from here. What <laughs> so, uh, if it will help, so you guys know that there are uh, four mm -hmm. like arcane turbine engines, right? I in the back, and then uh, four in the front, like two on each side for the for the steering. And then in the front, yeah. there is a ram, this spike thing, the spiked ram. Uh, and then. Oh, shit. And then you got your two sails, and then uh, the bridge is like this this elevated thing, and then there's even a like a like a higher platform in the in the in the back. It's not a crow's nest because the crow's nest is on the is on the oh, mast, yeah. the main mast, right? So this is like yeah. a rear rear viewing deck uh, with a telescope mm -hmm. over there where Satori is. So that's cool. Uh, and in the front, I think... yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we should call this the Barrel Dragon because Ooh. the Barrel Dragon. It's like Barrel Butts. <laughs> <laughs> the barrel dragon. 
I like the barrel aesthetic. I don't, I'm not so sure about the dragon because, like, aren't we supposed to defeat dragons? Well, yeah, all our pro okay. all our problems have been based on dragons. Yeah, maybe we'll call this the barrel something. Barrel something. Barrel boat. I don't know, man. <laughs> the barrel. The barrel boat to match the barrel boat. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's within like. Um, Anton's what, uh, like creative Anton naming. It, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Barrel boat. Yeah, but it's up to you guys. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you guys want to do? Actually, I really like that. It rolls off the tongue. Barrel boat. How about we just call it the barrel? You know, like yeah, like barrel. But at the same time, it the ship is like I don't know. Like I wanna associate it with gun as well. I don't know. Like uh, this yeah, ship yeah. is fast as a bullet. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Also, it looks boat. kind of. Very similarly shaped the bullet. I'm looking yeah, for so other. I'm looking for other names for a boat like dinghy or ship or bow uh, rider barrel. Oh, bow boat. rider looks sounds barrel so cool. bow rider. It's kind of long, you think? No. Uh, what about barrel bow? Barrel bow. Barrel bow. Oh. Yo. <laughs> no, not no, no, no. Barrel bow. Uh, Barrel, uh, the rolling barrel, barrel, um... barrel. <laughs> barrel roll. <laughs> Watch our D and D YouTube channel where we try to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Watch D and D players name the airship for five minutes. Uh, it's like uh, uh, it can be a barrel ship, like battleship, but barrel ship. Ooh. Um, what about the barrel battler? I don't know. Guys, we gotta park this. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll think of a name. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, name. Yeah. we'll workshop it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll workshop it. <laughs> All right. The barrel is um, working. Oh, uh, I was gonna also ask something to Satanel as well. Uh, while well, he's it. under the ship as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. That's so cool. I tell him, like, by the way, um, I don't know why I'm asking you this. You're 300 years old, and my assumption is you might have heard of it, but have you ever heard of a story or a legend in Pandemonium about the Sword of Endings, by any chance? What Sword of Endings? Yeah. Have I the end? Ah, Sword of Endings. Uh, <clears throat> I think you would have heard of it, and maybe briefly st or like read like uh, a little segment on a on a book maybe uh, okay. yeah. how please roll a history check for me though um what uh, what is I... important i'll use my can 16 I... plus uh, stuff okay, okay. Nice. <clears throat> the sword or the sword three. of endings oh. was uh crafted by <clears throat> the god of weapons are the golden warlord um and gifted to uh, hanan so that hanan could gift it to her um uh, champion see hanan uh, being the god of the goddess of fate uh does not off uh does not uh often screw with fate in itself it's more like fate happens and then hanan is the is like the was this the watcher or recording it something like that uh so when pandemonium happened um uh -huh. that was for Taryn. uh that was in in hanan's um like uh experience because uh -huh. uh, in the other worlds that she watches over, uh, when uh -huh. a war like Pandemonium happens, it usually means the end of that world, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So as a mercy, Hanan had the Sword of Endings created, gifted it to her champion, mm -hmm. so that her champion could uh, go in, uh, uh, be in who, which was, you know, uh, part of like pandemonium as a mercy would make it uh, easier for this champion to defeat uh, their foes right so that the war would end quicker right 
mm-hmm. so that the Taryn would like receive like a like a less gruesome end. But yes, surprise to Hanan, uh, it did the the war did not come to a gruesome end, and Taryn entered uh, the year of peace, uh, surprising uh-huh. her and a lot of the other gods. Uh, and <clears throat> what did you roll, Satan? Sixteen plus. Sixteen plus seven. Oh my god! Okay, I'll just tell you everything. So, okay. <laughs> uh, when this happened, the year of peace happened. Hanan's champion at this point was already like so, uh, fueled with like bloodlust and like war, uh, you know, and then like also have his, has like PTSD and shit and whatever. Yeah. Hanan wanted to, uh, um, like end or you no know, like. Uh, stop making that uh, person her champion, and also confiscate mm-hmm. the the sword, right? Sort of. Yeah. Uh, but the mortal did not do that, <laughs> and continued to like uh, um, wreak some havoc in the world until ultimately they disappeared. Or and then the history books gets this like. Uh, uh, garbled up and shit, and it becomes mixed with like mythology and legend and whatever. So you don't know what's really true, and that's how the sort of endings uh, became lost. Mm. Okay. And then I ask Ronan, "Why are you interested in an item like that?" Remember when we first met? I meant, oh, well, I I don't even remember if I mentioned it, but you see, I have this goal and I wanted to become the champion of the Golden Warlord. Let's just say that I believe if I can find the Sword of Endings, reforge it, and gift it to the champion of Hanan, whoever this person is, then I might have a chance of proving myself. Which is why I asked you uh, when in mm-hmm. all of Satan studying about religions and stuff like this, does this sound reminiscent of a god talking to their disciple? Uh, yes. I'm just and curious if Satan would know this. <laughs> I think I think he would. Like, there are many many ways for uh, gods and deities to speak to their uh, followers very very easy for clerics to do it uh, easier for paladins uh, uh, it's uncommon for those practicing the arcane like Ronin but uh, it's still quite possible I see I see I see and then uh, I <laughs> I walk towards Ronin while upside down and since I'm upside down, I can't touch his shoulder, so I just give him a nod and say, I guess that you pull your path forward now then, and if there's anything I can do to help, then I will do my best. I'm saying this upside down facing your feet or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> then I will turn upside down as well. So cool. And be like, I appreciate <laughs> the assistance. Alright. Well then, this is really awkward. I should probably get back to the bow. And I start yeah, I should out. do like... My head really hurts when I do this, but it's cool, <laughs> so... Right, and the smoke is starting to get into my nose. Oh, no, I think we just lost 11 minutes of our life in healing all this <laughs> toxic... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Satori, did you want to do something specific with the telescope or what? Uh, nothing really. She's just like uh, she's just looking behind as the airship is moving. Ah, okay. Like looking, uh, looking at the trails moving forward. Uh, she is just she's. Introspecting. Saturday's introspecting. 
because Ooh. the past few days have not been uh really great. Yeah. And yeah, she uh, j- really just misses uh her family. <laughs> mhm. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Atari is being sad girl right now. Oh. All right. Satori, are you okay? You're you're giving sad girl vibes right now. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. Uh, kind of homesick. That's all. Oh. We, we have never been exactly on a trip or an adventure as long as this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You mean you've never been out this long away from the Feywild? Okay. Yeah, this is my first time, essentially. Every time I've been out here, I always have been with my family, uh, going with them as they you know, do their things. And then we just go back after a few days. Amazing. How long has this trip been going on? Uh... Oh, man. Uh, easily... Weeks, maybe months. Wait, let me review. Would we? Would we? Would we like two months. months? Two months. I feel like a two yeah. months at the very most. I feel like. Yeah, yeah it's the it's the it's yeah. the it's the traveling that stretches it. Ah, there yeah. you go. Okay. Yes, that definitely has been the longest. Uh, I've been away. Yeah. How do you do this? How long have you been traveling? Well, I've been, uh, say it's almost been six months since I left the Republic. And I do miss my home sometimes, yes, but uh, this whole adventuring thing, I, it really keeps me, you know, up. Like, I feel homesick at times, but the thought of, you know, experiencing new things, and uh, making new memories outside home, it, it lets me keep going. And I hope that one day I could return to the Republic and, you know, uh, share those memories with those waiting for me at home. That really helped. Thank you, Ronan. You're welcome. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, if. If birds had tear ducts, she would be crying, but I don't think birds can cry. <laughs> <laughs> she, she has a really big frown on her face right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh, it's all it's all right. Uh, do you want? I don't know. Do you want a hug or something? Uh, sure, please. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like he he goes over and like gives a hug. It's a bit awkward, but you know, like <laughs> you know. it's fine. Satori is an awkward bird. Uh, awkward. I will I will stay here for a while if you yes, don't too. mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then Satori starts humming, uh, kind of a uh, low tune. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kind of humming that um, Mondai would hum to her uh, when she's feeling down. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's All right. it. All Our right. All right. Uh, Casimir, what are you up to? Are you talking with Satan? Yeah, I was actually approaching Casimir. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Unless uh, Casimir wants to do something not related to Satan. What up, bro? Muted Ken, huh? I've been muted all this time. Okay. Oh so I will gosh. be... I'll be talking to myself. Okay. okay. Talking to yourself. So, here we go. So I am... Where am I? I will be at the bow, I guess, by myself. Ah, okay. Unless there's someone else there? No one's there. I, I would approach you, but I think you can have your moment first. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna, yeah. gonna get crazy. So the Pharaoh uh, reappears himself, and knowing that there's just the two of us, 
and kind of open to the fact that these guys know that I'm talking to myself, but they can't hear me properly yet. Um, he walks to me, knowing that we're both alone, and he says, Well, an emperor, an elf, a tin man, and their pet bird. That's what you've gotten yourself into, Kashmir. Tell me, what plan did you exactly have when your friend Evren contacted you? Do you think it will get rid of you this curse? And Kashmir staying quiet and stares into the clouds. We are up high in the sky, right? Mm hmm. Okay. And Kashmir, for the first time today, recognizes the voice and looks at him straight and says, Look, they got a dragon, and I'm sure you've heard of that. We're here to kill your brother. They're the closest thing that can, they can get to him. And then the pharaoh says, Of course, Gus. I do not question your capabilities. I'm questioning theirs. And last time I checked, they're not into that plan. Gasmi says, Well, we'll find a way. We're already here, aren't we? I'm doing my best to do what needs to be done. For this realm and for everyone else that's living here. And the pharaoh says, well, you see, that's where we differ. You and I, we are not the same. Because we, I know that I would reign better than anyone else here. We could do better. And with dragons, we could take over the whole realm. And that box is the start. Casimir stares quiet. And says, we do sacrifice, don't we? Maybe that's the sacrifice we have to make to make things better. And with a grin, the dead pharaohs appear, leaving Casimir to himself. And I guess that's where you enter. Satan, yeah. Yeah, sure. We gotta give your your dead pharaoh uh, art. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Later, yeah, later. you can do that. Yeah. All right, and then I say, right. Asmir. Oh, the elf. Sorry, I was staring, and then it's nighttime, right? <laughs> Uh, so. <laughs> it is not is it night nighttime? time. It is not night time. Oh. Okay, it's like kind of afternoon, I guess. I can, uh, it can be like dusk. I mean, no. Yeah, dusk. So it's okay, about dusk. to be not so night time. Like it's like, and the... it's like a separation, you know, when you're like flying a plane, you're like taking a, like a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a separation like, of like the night sky and then like the, the, the daytime. Of... Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's weird because in 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 Tyran and in in this universe, uh, the sun does not set; it just mm. dims. It dims, yeah, dims and then yeah. it it it's in the same spot in the sky all the time. It just dims mm -hmm. and then it brightens and then dims when it's nighttime again. So, mm -hmm. I guess for this, when it dims, like in the far edges of the horizon, it's dark already. But then. Mm -hmm. As it gets closer to you, it's still like daytime. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's very. But it's like a, like a bit of the night nice sky, I guess. Yeah, in, in the horizon. Okay. In the, yeah, in the yeah. horizon, yeah. Yeah. So, like Catherine says, so the elf. Sorry, I was mesmerized by the view. How can I help you? Oh, first things first, you can call me Satan. Right, Satan. I'll keep that in mind. You like views, Satan? Or less. There's a ranger I see. Just all the time, but you never get tired of it. The night nice sky. The world around me. First time being an airship though. And first time well probably not the first time being a fugitive, but who really cares in this world? To living a free life. How about you, Satan? Been a fugitive before? A fugitive. I have been a refugee. Hmm. So, but there's a story there. A good one. 
Yeah, and speaking of good stories, I was wondering, could you share more about Evrain? He didn't like sharing about himself, so I figured since you know him, maybe we can talk about him. And then he, he kind of like smirks and says, Ah, uh, Evrain, no long did it take for you to talk to me. Three months. I thought I was meat. I thought, thought it was meat back then. <laughs> but he talked to me. And you know why? Why? Well, that's because I never talked to him. Everyone else in my party back then, they loved chatting with everyone, trying to know each other's feelings and what's going on, the next move, but everyone always has his own world. Talk to me three months after not talking to him. I'm like quite him, but the difference is that I tend to say what I think about. He tries to keep it on himself. Anyway, I'll answer the question How did we meet? Bot's job. And dead for miles you can see. It was trapped by some sort of necromancer, so it's five of us. Inside a cave, only two got out. And I'm guessing you know who are those two. Let's see. So that's Everton, that's how we met. What do you want to know about him? Well, I guess we can give and take stories. I can tell you what happened between him and having him around in our party for a little while. Quite a crazy adventure. I bet it is, considering what you've gotten yourself into. Indeed. But I feel that yeah. I'll see him again very soon. Well, faith is tend to blow itself around the corner, doesn't it? I suppose so. Yeah, about fate is, once it's set, it's always set. Can't run away from it. What do you exactly do with it? I tell him, I, I study magic, of course. I mean, aside from that fact. Well, then Satan contemplates for a bit. Well, you are Everain's friend, so I believe I can trust you. And this will be the first time Satan tells this to anyone outside of his family. Sometimes see visions of the future. Visions. Yeah. And whenever that happens, that it always occurs. Mm. Now that I can get along with. Good friend of mine, my master, actually. I have the same fate as you. Is that can, right? Yes, can peer into time. Weirdest thing is that you never really tell us anything about it. Just starts us to prepare for the upcoming end. I suppose that makes sense. Once. So hard, and why I think so hard? Because if it was, it was doom and gloom. I don't know if I would have had the motivation to do what I'm doing. That is true. Okay, I think we can both agree on that. Fighting till the end, until we can no longer stand. And I kind of ask him, and what drives you, Casimir? Well, 
a lot of things, family, old, they're still around. What else? Money, and I guess the end. My master's thinking got into me, I guess. There's something about it. Something deeper than just the ending. You know, something new after all of these things. Gives you some peace that it will eventually happen. If your master is like me, then it will certainly happen. I believe so too. Then I guess I'll ask him about your, his master. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you figured all that stuff out already. Yeah, I, I mean, I sent him the background of the Black Lopes. Mm -hmm. I, sent, oh, okay. I, sent, I sent the Dark Mistress. <laughs> oh, the <geez>. DM. <laughs> so I guess something like, well, how is he going to fit that? Okay. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this is our back and forth right now, talking about the, our adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it, man. I got to know about Casimir. This. Uh, yeah, he's more open. Brain was here, dude. Yeah. yeah, he's a more open man, you know. <laughs> there you go, bud. Alright. Uh, I'm good. Uh, do you want to do more, my dude? I'm good. I think that's, that's, that's all I'm going to ask right now. Cool. How about you, Raph? Uh. There's still some stuff I want to converse with in the Satori in a... If okay. I'm not... You can do that. Okay. Uh, sometime during the day, I guess, I don't know, uh, I pull Satori aside and I ask him, uh, so by the way, uh, what do you think of our uh, new companion over there? He seems really, 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 really well adjusted considering like the shit he got into by joining us in the span of like a day like if i was in his shoes i would really seriously be like i'm out i'm going by but he is still yeah all of this because we are friends of Evrain. what do you think safari mm, well i do find it weird how often he talks to himself but mm. I don't know, maybe he's here for the adventure. I was here for the adventure. Mm. Was. So, so was. Mm. All right. I guess we can what? trust him for yeah. now. He hasn't tried to... Well, to be fair, it's only been a day. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, but I mean, he stuck with us even when we were being chased. You know what? The more the more I talk about this, the more it gets suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't he stuck it. with us. He stuck with us even when we got chased by a whole army. I know, After right? We've only with us for one day. Yeah. You're onto something here, Mister Ronan. Don't <laughs> it. Feel uh, you know, I'm just like brandishing my gun around Satori and it's like, we both should just keep an eye just in case. So, well, you know, like I've said before, if it ever goes sideways, it is wink and do a little swinging motion with my hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Yes. By the way, I don't know if this is okay to ask, but these boots, they're amazing. I can fly. Do you want to try it on for a while and, you know, fly yourself? Or, I mean, is that okay to ask? I know you were, I don't know. I just thought it'd be a nice thing to do. Uh, I don't really mind if you want me to try them on. No way. I'll try them on. I okay. I remove my boots and lend it over. Ooh, okay. 
all right, I put on the shoes and then how does this work? <laughs> how does this work, Mr. Ronan? Like six seconds to attune to the boots. Just, just, just do something with your mind, Shai. Just say like the shoes are yours. I don't know. Just say that and then it will attune to you and then it should be floating anytime soon. Oh, floating. Okay. Uh, the pixies have taught me about this. Let's think happy thoughts, right? It's quote, Slattery closes her eyes and thinks of happy thoughts. Okay. Yeah. I, I yeah. hold on to Slattery, by the way. Just so you know, like, <laughs> velocity will... the sh- You'll fly off the ship if you get off the, you know, so I'm just holding on to you now, just to be sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, she thinks happy thoughts and then uh, slowly she starts levitating off. Mm-hmm. Like, her... Her feet leaves the the barrel ship's name pending mm-hmm. for, and then starts floating uh, just a little bit, uh, not really above Ronin's head, just like level with Ronin's head. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that's about two point five feet. But anyway, starts floating and then. <clears throat> Uh, starts wobbling around, like um, learning how to ice skate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the same motions that Satori is doing right now. Like, whoa, how do you just look, Mr. Ronan? Look, I'm flying. Nice, yes. Yeah, he starts uh, rolling around. But like trying to, trying to, um, maintain balance while holding on to Ronan. There we go. You're you're doing great. This is actually really fun. Yeah. Yeah. I can I try to do a, a flip. Do a <laughs> roll. I I do a flip. Yes. I do a flip. We did this. There we go. <laughs> I did a flip. Can you yeah. please uh Satori roll me uh Ooh. So when you do the flip, can you just just roll a deck save please? You'll probably oh, no. pass this though. Okay. okay. Oh, the fucking oh my god. Okay. Twenty two. Twenty two. Uh so you do the you do the the flip while holding Ronin's hand, but because you flip then you know how you know limbs they kinda yeah. like so yeah. Yeah. so Ronin yeah, has to, to go for bit. Yeah, Ronin has to let go. Uh yeah. you do while you do the flip, you get left behind by the ship a little bit. Right? Yeah. But then, because you rolled so well, you kind of, like, steady yourself. But before you steadied yourself, you you kind of, like, plummeted a little bit down. And then you thought happy thoughts. So you flew upwards. And then as you fly upwards, it is beautiful. You go above uh, the clouds that is above the ship, right? And then you see... Uh, the horizon as like uh, most of the world is turning into nighttime and then uh, you start to dive down uh, back to the ship but before you do that something catches the corner of your eye and on one of the clouds in the sky while you're in the air uh, sitting there in an Indian squat very looking very uh, like like happy right uh, sitting there in an indian squat is the knife juggler that you <laughs> met uh, in the carnival and, oh my god she <sighs> and you blink and she's no longer there and uh you find yourself going back to the ship that is where we're going to end this session uh, <laughs> Okay. It, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. But loves it. there you go. Um, 
I'm gonna uh, end the video. Hang on, guys. Yeah, okay. like and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Uh, GG well played to all the players. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you all next time. Uh, that's it. Much love. Peace. Mwah.